and good morning everyone welcome to london heathrow as usual just bear with us just gonna make sure everything is okay there's the uh, the virgin jet the uh, virgin atlantic 350 and you've got the uh, the ba 380 just lining up on the runway so uh starting off our show with a uh, a jumbo jet the airbus a 380 of british airways just lining up on the runway uh we will get some info out to you as this aircraft lifts off, we'll just watch it taxi and then uh, obviously depart. Of course, uh, we will be giving the uh, the weather update, the actions, and uh, and a few more facts and statistics about the airport. But uh, a very warm welcome to everyone. Lovely stuff. That was BA193 for the British Airways A380 800 with the Red Gulf X-ray Lima Echo India or GXLEI heading to Dallas that will be. So uh, expected arrival time will be uh, 3.05. That is at Dallas of course. It's the ninth most tracked aircraft worldwide with 228 watches and it was a nine-year-old Airbus A380. So uh, just watching the Airbus A350 of Virgin Atlantic that's being moved around to an, uh, yeah, an alternative stand that would be course you've got the uh, the BA320 that also wants to to, uh, to appear in the show that's a uh, registered as Golf Echo Uniform Yankee Kilo that's also taxing to stand or I should say being moved to stand by the uh, the workers on the ground of course doing an amazing job there's the uh, the A350 just a really nice viewpoint of that one so uh, yes yeah, starting our show off with that Airbus A380 British Airways that was amazing stuff and I can tell you that we also have another Airbus A380 on the way and that will be of Singapore Airlines and uh, Speaking of, some of our members will know that we did have a member exclusive poll for uh, for our members to pick what emoji they would uh, like to see next on the uh, the membership exclusive perks, and uh, the Singapore Airlines logo emoji was actually uh, the one that the members have picked. So that's been uploaded today. That should be available for use today. So you can use that with the uh, the Singapore jet when that departs, of course. That is heading to Singapore, of course, and that is just pushing back. We've also got the Delta 330-200 on the uh, the way now as well. You can see there the BA380 in the background as well. That was the one that had just departed. But anyway, some info on that Delta jet. Well, that was flight number DL19 heading to, De to Detroit. That was the A330-200, of course, with the Reg November 856 November Whiskey. And the A330-200 there was 19 years of age, registered in October 2004. Is a, uh, a BA777 lining up. So, uh, a very warm welcome to everyone. Keeping us good day to you. We hope you're well. Uh, Dash MC Cool, it's great to have you on board with us. Welcome, good morning. Uh, yeah, welcome to Heathrow, uh, Keeping us. Thomas Turner, good morning to you. David, good morning. Saying hope you and everyone are well. We're doing uh, fantastic. Thank you, David. And, uh, and how are you doing, David? It's uh, really great to have you on board with us. Not too sure why that BA chat was holding. Oh, okay, there's our reason. We've got. Uh, this BA jet just skipping the queue in front. Uh, let's see, Gemma, good morning to you. We hope you're well. Ilya Frollo, good morning as well. We hope you're well. Abraham Parks, thanks for uh, joining us today. A fellow aviation enthusiast, good morning to you. So, uh, the BA jet on the move. Oh, 
and that was about a minute and it was already in the air. There you go, that's uh, the power of the, uh, the BA engines of that, uh, I believe it was the A320, it's not picking up on my radar there, is it? It's actually the A319 heading to Amsterdam. Flight number BA434 with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Papa Tango. And what we also have on the way to runway 27 right for the departure is going to be a Virgin Atlantic A350-1000. And uh, oh, we've also got the BA777 on the move as well. Here it is. As usual, get some info out to you once it lifts off. Beautiful stuff on that BA777. Amazing, just rocketing out there. You've got the BA319 also attacking in front of us now. I promised some info on that uh, departure, and here it is. We've got flight number BA185 heading to New York EWR with the uh, the Reg Golf Victor India India Victor, and that was the Boeing 777 200ER, and that was 24 years of age, registered in June 1999. About 40 minutes early is uh, when it's projected to arrive at its destination in New York. You've got an AG and that looks to be our next departure. In fact, that is holding. I'm not too sure why. I'm just assuming that it might be waiting for uh, the clearance to the park. Because there is a Virgin 350 that's taxiing relatively fast. But I doubt that will be uh, departing in front of it. But uh, you never know. In fact, here's our reason as to why that AG was uh, holding. BA319 has decided that it's going to be skipping the queue. <laughs> there you are. Now it's going to be joining the runway. Just halfway into it, really. Fed up of taxing, I guess. <laughs> Off into the uh, to the air it wants to go. Uh, just a very warm welcome to our new viewers just joining us now. Uh, at London Heathrow, runway 27 right departures for uh, today up until the runway alternations at 3 p.m. So we've got a good few hours of, uh, of close-up departure actions like this one. And off into the sky goes to PA319, not picking up on my radar, there it is. It was flight number BA834 heading to Dublin, that was the Airbus A319 with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Papa Whiskey. And as we waited for that to actually begin its departure, obviously had a, a nice quick glimpse of the engines, of course the tail, the Reg, just a nice tour around the A319 as it obviously sat in front of us, just waiting for the, uh, the clearance. So yes, our next departure will be the Virgin Atlantic A350. So the Aegean is still on hold, just holding short of runway 27 right. That's going to be heading to Athens, the A321neo. But uh, yeah, that's just waiting for this uh, Virgin 350. Now I did see a Cathay Pacific 777. That was taxiing. So did the, uh, the Vietnam Airlines 787. Yeah, both jets will be uh, taxiing for departure, the, uh, the Cathay 777 and the Vietnam Airlines 787. They'll be heading to Hanoi, the Cathay jet will be heading to Hong Kong. They'll be uh, crossing over runway 27 left, actually, uh, Cathay Pacific has already crossed 27 left. Um, the Vietnam Airlines is still just waiting to do so. They will both be departing on runway 27 right, of course. So uh, we will be seeing them nice and close up here. And the Virgin 350, off it goes.
And you can see the gear going up, the landing gear doors just opening. Retracting the uh, the landing gear off. That goes the, uh, the Virgin Atlantic K350. And some info on that aircraft for you. That was flight number VS103 heading to Atlanta. Expected to arrive in 8 hours and 28 minutes. That was the Airbus A350-1000 with the Reg Golf Victor Romeo November Bravo. Uh, we've got a few special aircraft and the, the list of aircrafts that will be special that we, we will be seeing during today's show can be seen or found in our uh, discord page if you'd like to join that that's in the about page of our channel description of course but uh, that's completely optional i will still be reading that out to you and i think it probably would be a perfect time perhaps after this aegean 321 neo that is just probably cleared for uh, for its lineup on 27 right yeah there it is yeah, that's going to be cleared for its lineup. Runway 27 right. The uh, Aegean 321neo heading to Athens with the Reg Sierra X-Ray November Alpha Lima or SXNAL. The Airbus A380 is also in the uh, the shot. And that was flight number A3601 uh, for the Aegean jet. Here's a Singapore A380. So uh, if you are a member, feel free to use the, uh, the Singapore Airlines uh, member exclusive stickers now I'll try and slot in the special aircraft list in a minute probably after this AG and jet it all depends on the aircraft that are actually takes in quite fast the runway to some right none of them want to be holding here but there's the beauty the uh, the Singapore Airlines A380 uh, let's see Arif Juma good morning to you uh, we hope that uh, you enjoyed uh, yesterday's Christmas of course uh, Al T, good morning to you over in Manchester. We hope you're well. Uh, Dash MC Call saying, could you please tell us the weather conditions? Yep, of course, we've got weather conditions here at London Heathrow. So, the weather, we have got wind blowing at 12 knots. That is in uh, the direction uh, 270 degrees. We've got temperatures of 8 degrees Celsius with conditions being clear. We've got an average delay of 5 minutes for the arriving traffic, which is a 0.5 disruption index, and an average delay of 20 minutes for the departures, which is a 1.7 disruption index. So, doing significantly better than that. Uh, they were during the last stream of course here at London Heathrow I mean the air trap control tower doing an amazing job managing the actions on both runways but uh, sunset is expected at around 4 p.m. sunrise was uh, or had occurred at 8 o'clock this morning that's uh, some brief weather info for you all we will get uh, some more obviously throughout the show and I'll obviously be showing you the windsock here's the Aegean 321 Neo So uh, off to Athens it goes and whilst that's departing I'll read you out the special list of aircraft that we're going to be seeing uh, depart. So we will have flight number QF10 for the Qantas 7879 Dreamliner heading to Perth. That's due in or due to uh, obviously get out of London Heathrow very very soon. We've got flight number TG911 for the Thai Airways 777-300DR. That's going to be heading to Bangkok. We'll just position our camera on the Singapore 380 as we've got a few aircraft taxiing on the runway now. Or taxiing to the runway, I should say. Next up is flight number AC855 for an Air Canada 7879 Dreamline. And that's got this special Disney Wish livery. And that's actually within our viewpoint. As you can see there, that's just part of it, that uh, Disney Wish special livery. That's going to be heading to Toronto later on today, that uh, Air Canada flight. Then next on the special list is flight number FI4514 on Iceland Air 757-300 heading to Reykjavik. Unfortunately, no special livery, but it is a 757 nonetheless, and I think that might be the only one uh, here today, the only uh, 757. Then we've got flight number BA107 for the British Airways A380 heading to Dubai. AI128 for the Air India special Mahatma Gandhi livery with the 7878 Dreamliner heading to Mumbai. BA632 for a British Airways A320 Neo with a special BA Better World livery. That's going to be heading to Athens as well later today. EK2 for the Emirates A380 heading to Dubai. EY20 for the Etihad Airways A380 heading to Abu Dhabi. BA209 for the British Airways A380 heading to Miami. QR4 for the Qatar Airways A380 uh, heading to Doha. I think I've 
said A380 probably like 20 times there. So we've got about six to seven uh, PA380s, uh, not BA, that's just A380s uh, in general, set to depart here at London Heathrow today during our show. Danny Vosko also got uh, QR8 for the Qatar Airways A350-900. And I know I went through that a bit fast, but the list is on Discord. Just don't want to be missing all of the grand actions because we have got a Cathay Jets holding the Virgin Atlantic 330, Neo holding the Iberia 330-300, which is actually... Um, here at London Heathrow today, usually it's the 320 Neo. I mean, we used to have the uh, the A350 of Iberia operating at London Heathrow, so I guess they've used the uh, the heavier aircraft once again. That's probably heading to Madrid, I'm guessing. Uh, I did say the Cathay Jet, and we've also got this BA320 Neo by the looks of it lining up on runway to some right for departure, as usual. We we'll get some info for you uh, in a minute. Now, just. Uh, just reading the chat now because I know I'm a bit behind. I do apologize. Ilya Frolov, good morning to you. Saying watching you live on the bricks uh, on the big screen. Love the quality. Keep up the work. Really appreciate that, Ilya. Really nice of you. Uh, let's see, Steve the Butcher. Welcome along. Saying hello, people. Festive greetings. So the, uh, the BA320 Neo with the Reg Golf Tango, Tango November, Romeo GTTNR with the flight number BA676 heading to Istanbul. Just trying to see if I can see that uh, Eurowings A319 I was just arriving on runway 27 left. I will be uh, capturing a few of the distant uh, arrivals on runway 27 left if possible of course. It's just all dependent on uh, the visibility that we've got here. Obviously, they are quite far. We just require a really good sort of shot of them to actually see them. But, uh, yeah, we'll mix it up for the departures and the arrivals today. We've got flight number EI915 lining up on the runway. That's an Air Lingus A320 near with the Reg Echo India November Sierra Alpha moving now. Or EINSA heading to Nock. A320 Neo is only one years of age, registered in, in January 2022, and it is 14 minutes later than expected. For its departure. <laughs> and so off to knock goes that Air Lynx aircraft. Stunning stuff. We love the A320neos here. We see them way too often. For it, they're, uh, they're a really nice aircraft. Now, for the members, please use the Singapore A380 uh, emojis because it is lining up on the runway now. Here it is. Off to Singapore goes this Singapore Airlines A380 with flight number SQ317. That's registered as 9 Victor Sierra Kilo Sierra or 9 VSKS. And it's a 12 year old A380 registered in December 2011. It was scheduled to depart 20 minutes ago and is scheduled to arrive at Singapore at 7.50 in the morning. Uh, we've been live for uh, pretty much 20 minutes and that's our second Airbus A380 of the day. Now I wasn't actually expecting to see this one as it was scheduled to, uh, to depart quite a bit earlier than our start time but obviously we are here a bit earlier as well. Thank God the traffic wasn't too bad but uh, yeah it's nice to see a Singapore A380. Specifically excited for the Qantas 787 that's gonna be a nice one to watch. 
Uh, so just reading the chat once again as we've got the uh, the Virgin 330 Neo lined up on the runway now. Babs, oh, good morning to you. Saying watching uh, or oh, newbie here, watching from north of Manchester. Well, we uh, we hope you're enjoying the content, Babs. Uh, if you've got any improvements that we could obviously. Uh, improve our content with please do let us know in the live chat but uh, welcome along babzar we hope you're doing well shirok good morning to you saying hope everyone had a very merry christmas yeah the same goes same goes uh, we hope you're well shiron it's really amazing to have you on board with us uh let's see who else is in here selena good morning to you saying hello everyone hope everyone had a merry christmas yeah likewise hope you all had a very merry christmas we're back here on uh, unboxing day as well as a little treat a little bonus show the, uh, the VA 330 Neo is on the move, heading to Tampa this is, flight number VS129 with the Reg Golf Victor Juliet Alpha Zulu. Really nice stuff. I mean, the sun shades, they're looking so classy on the 330 Neo. I believe the purpose of the sun shades was uh, to, I think it was to reflect heat from the sun when the aircraft is in the, uh, the sky. I believe that was uh, why the sun shades are obviously in place. But do correct me if I'm wrong. We've got the Cathay Pacific jet, the 777-300DR heading to Hong Kong with flight number S or CX252 on the runway now. See there, the vapor in the engines. And the reg for this jet, for those wondering, would have been Bravo Kilo uh, Oscar. Now that would be Bravo Kilo Papa Oscar. I've missed the P there. I do apologize. So BKPO. We have actually got the brand new Brussels A320 Neo. And that's going to be lining up on the runway very, very soon. Actually took delivery of that uh, A320 Neo not too long ago. I will say that. That's going to be exciting to see the part. On the runway now is IB3175. That was the flight number of the Siberia 330-300 with Reg Echo Charlie Lima X-ray Kilo or EC LXK heading to Madrid. That's a 10-year-old A330 registered in June 2013 and it's already on a move. About 25 minutes late this one is. And already rotating, it looks to be a very, very light A330. Of course, we have got a bit of a headwind as well, so that's probably helping out these uh, these aircrafts when lifting off. Now here's the Vietnam Airlines 787. Now we don't see this one too often, but it's got a stunning livery, I must say. Uh, Big Al, welcome to Economy Membership. Really appreciate you uh, obviously returning back with us. Uh, we hope you're well. Big Al, it's Ariane. Good morning to you, saying uh, hello all, and Danny, how are you? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you, Aaron, and how are you doing as well? Big Al saying good morning and happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you, Big Al. Uh, Kiwinus with the five gifted Aviation Hunters memberships. Really appreciate that generosity, Kiwinus. Really, really nice stuff. Thank you so much, Kiwinus. Really appreciate that.
And so that was flight number VN56 for the Vietnam Airlines Boeing 7879 Dreamliner with the Reg Victor November Alpha 863 heading to Hanoi. The 7879 Dreamliner is 8 years of age, registered in August 2015, and it was 21 minutes late for its departure. It's going to be travelling a total of 9,255 kilometres between London Heathrow and Hanoi. We've got the British Airways 777 already on the move as well. And so that was the British Airways 777 200DR heading to Chicago with flight number BA295 and it's registered as Golf Victor India India Charlie is the, uh, the 777 200DR and uh, we'll get a nice quick shot of the tail of that Air Canada Disney Wish uh, livery. Now when I was checking the schedule for all these special aircraft that would occur during today's show I was pretty surprised to see Air Canada on the, uh, on the schedule. I mean we don't really see too many special aircraft from Air Canada do we? In fact, I think this might be the first. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we've ever seen a special Air Canada livery here at London Heathrow, on our channel at least. It's a nice one. It's got the uh, the looks of the new livery, of course, but it's also got the, the sort of Disney stickers all over it. It's, uh, it's a pretty nice one. So we're on, on the runway now. It's BA816 heading to Copenhagen. It's the A320 near Wilderidge Golf Tango Tango November Foxtrot or GTTNF. It's a five-year-old day, 320 Neo, registered in October 2018. And it is just about 10 minutes late for its uh, departure, but nothing too serious. I'm sure that'll make back the uh, the time. Sure, I'm saying, oh, I've been wanting to see the Disney Wish since they introduced it. Looking forward to seeing it depart. Yeah, I'll get a few quick, quick glimpses of the uh, the tail if I can for you, Sharon. Just in between the, the, the sort of gaps of, uh, of departure traffic. Got near Canada, 777 3 HDR, also heading to the runway now. Ilya Frolov saying, are we only having departures today? Yep, up, up until 3pm, uh, runway 27 right hosts the departing aircraft actions. Uh, absolutely no time wasted off into the sky that goes could imagine that aircraft being uh, relatively light I doubt that's carrying too much and we've also got the BA I say BA yeah we've got the uh, the BA I thought that was a triple seven never mind never mind <laughs> anyway we've got the Brussels Airlines A320 Neo with the Reg Oscar Oscar Sierra Bravo Alpha or OOSBA heading to Brussels that's brand new A320 Neo of Brussels Airlines with flight number SN2094 brand new registered in September 2023 and what I was going to say was that there was a BA777 that I thought I'd seen on the opposite side of the the, uh, the airport but uh, it turns out it wasn't even uh, a BA jet in fact the tail appears once again I do apologize I'm going to correct myself Let's see. It's a 787, I think. Brand new and looking really nice. Is that uh, that Brussels A320 new? So yes, this was the aircraft that I was talking about. I thought I'd seen a British Airways tail moving. There it is, that uh, 787. In fact, I thought we'd have an Air Canada 777 actually taxiing to the runway, but instead it's taxied to a different stand. So we've got BA-766 for the British Airways A320 CEO with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Uniform X-Ray. That's heading to Oslo. Oh, 
off to Oslo. That goes. We've got an American jet just holding. That's a triple seven. I'll show that now. We've also got a BA jet lining up. There's the yeah, the triple seven that I was on about. It's a 300 by the looks of it. And we've also got a BA triple uh, seven on the runway now. We'll get some info as that gets into the sky. Peach lad, welcome along. Saying I've just discovered your channel after seeing you from my room window at the Renaissance. I'm here for four nights for Christmas spotting weekend. Amazing stuff. Enjoy some amazing viewpoints here. Let's see, Peppy joining us from Innsbruck, Austria. Good morning to you, Walshi. Kev, good morning. Yeah, it's the, uh, the American jet just lining up now. I said that I'd get some info on that BA jet, so here it is. So that was the BA 777-200ER heading to New York, JFK with flight number BA-173 with the Reg Golf Victor, India, India, Sierra. And so that American jet was the Boeing 777-300ER heading to Los Angeles LAX with flight number AA137 with the Reg November 732 Alpha November. Now on the runway, we've got no aircraft, but we have got the Air Canada 787 taxiing. We've also got a British Airways a Boeing 787. Now those are the two aircraft that I can spot visually heading to 27 right for, uh, for a departure soon. There's a light of another aircraft. Let's check. It looks to be an Air Malta and a Lufthansa jet. So yeah, we've got the Air Malta 320neo heading to Malta, and also the uh, the Lufthansa 320neo heading to Munich. So uh, currently four aircraft heading to the uh, the runway for departure. In fact, there's a fifth now. We've got a British Airways. I think it's an A320. Yes, it is. It's the A320 CEO heading to Nice. Uh, we've also got an Iberia 320neo and a British Airways A321 neo. So we've actually got quite a few aircraft that are ready to begin their uh, pushback slash taxi to 27 right for, for a departure. Just currently seeing that stand. Speaking of, the JetBlue uh, A321 neo would probably be a key example of that. I just read in the chat. I do apologize that I'm a bit behind today. Let's see, while she kept saying I love the Singapore Airlines A380, simple livery, but it just suits the plane so much. It definitely does. It really is amazing. Dizzy, good morning to you. We hope you're well. It's uh, great to have you on board with us. Squash joining us from Australia. Good morning. And uh, Ian joining us from near Cardiff. Good morning to you. Saying happy Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day to you, Ian. We hope you're well. The Flashpacker Chronicles. Welcome, saying hello. Hope you had a, uh, had a good or a great Christmas day. Yeah, we definitely did uh, the Flashpacker Chronicles. Just getting to bed a bit earlier so we could uh, obviously wake up nice and early for this London Heathrow stream. But uh, yeah, it was uh, amazing. Thank you very much. Sure, I'm saying 3.30 heaven. Uh, Carl saying, is there American and United Airlines Boeing 777 coming there? Yes, we do have American and uh, United 777 arriving here at uh, London Heathrow. We've got the United 767s and 787s as well. We've got a few American 787s as well as so... Uh, yeah, those are some aircraft to look forward to. Squash saying, love your streams, watch them all the time. I'm from Australia, so these live streams are later at night for me. Do apologize for that time and different squash. But uh, really appreciate you tuning in. 
So the Air Malta jet on the runway now, heading to Malta, the A320 with the Reg 9 Hotel, November Echo Charlie or 9H NEC. It is flat number KM101. Love seeing Air Malta here at London Heathrow. They've got a really nice livery. It's a four-year-old A320 Neo, registered in September 2019 for those wondering. We've also got the Air Canada 787 just lining up now. Beautiful stuff, uh, beautiful stuff. It's with the toothpaste livery, and that's going to be headed to Mumbai. It's flight number AC856. The Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner is registered as Charlie Foxtrot Romeo Serie India or CFRSI and it's a six-year-old 787. And uh, Chuan Chuan, good morning to you, joining us from, uh, I think that's the Vietnamese flag. Welcome along. Uh, Irfan, good morning to you. Lee Class, good morning. How are you doing, Lee? It's great to see you with us. Uh, Simon Mason is saying, where are you viewing from and can anyone get access? We're at the Renton's Hotel car park. However, we are on top of a raised platform. Without it, we'd have a bunch of, uh, of obstructing uh, objects in our viewpoint. That would be fences, lampposts, etc. We've got a few lampposts here, of course, but uh, it's mainly the fences that are the issue. BA320 just holding there the United 787 just taxiing as well We've got the BA787 it looks to be an 8 Dreamliner I think it is the uh, the Boeing 787 8 Dreamliner let's check yes it is it's going to be heading to Delhi as well and there's the uh, the next departure that's going to be a Lufthansa 320 Neo registered as Delta Alpha India November Lima or D-A-I-N-L heading to Munich flight number LH2473 and the year 320 Neo is five years of age registered in August 2018 it's 24 minutes later than expected for his departure Chris Clark good morning to you Chris how are you doing Welcome along, Heather. Joining us in economy membership, really appreciate that, Heather. Enjoy the uh, the perks and welcome, Heather. Joining us from a sunny is that North Hampshire? Is that how you say it? I do apologise if I've said it wrong. I'm not really good with uh, with pronouncing names, as I'm sure you could probably tell. Let's see, Kelly of Melbourne, Australia, welcome along, saying hey everyone, I hope everyone is having a great day, really appreciate that, and uh, we hope you're having an amazing day as well. To Munich goes a Lufthansa 320 near now. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Frankfurt flight just yet. Usually see one, I think it's every hour hour or so. And there's a United 787 just lining up now. And uh, Let's see, Lou Mondo saying this is uh, Audrey. Good morning. Good morning to you, Audrey. We hope you're well. Yes, yeah, saying, uh, yeah, it is Audrey. Welcome along, Audrey. We hope you're doing well. Uh, Lee Class saying I'm good, thanks. Aviation, hope you are. Yeah, I've been really, really well. Thank you, Lee Class. 
just surviving in this cold. It's uh, it's freezing. Got a few heat warmers with us, so uh, that's a good. Flight number UA26 heading to Denver. This is United 778, uh, sorry, 9 Dreamliner that would be. Yeah, the, uh, the Boeing 7879 Dreamliner with the Reg November 29971 heading to Denver. That is a six year old 787. Registered in, in December 2017. I've already got our next departure. The BA7878 Dreamliner is absolutely wasting no time. It's going to be heading to Delhi, is this BA jet? We're flat number BA143. Golf Zulu Bravo Juliet Juliet would be the, uh, the register this jet, or GZBJJ. This is a five year old 787. Some loud engines of, uh, of an A320 Neo by the looks of it. Focus on it, on the, uh, the tarmac now. You might see it past this 787. It's not even the A320 Neo that's making the noise, it's the A321 Neo. Amazing, as I said, just watching that. There you are, the A321 Neo. That was the one, I could hear the engines from a mile away. That's actually gonna be our first Frankfurt flight of the, uh, the show. Flight number LH905. No, up next is BA344 heading to Nice. Is the A320 CEO slash 200 with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Tango, a GEUUT. The A320, 16 years of age, registered in October 2007 and is just 10 minutes later than expected. And uh, watching us from uh, Australia is Fortnite Dingleberry. We hope you're well. And uh, welcome to the uh, the show, Dickie Mint, joining us from Durham in England. Welcome along, Dickie. Uh, Dickie. We hope you're well. Mega Mercedes 2 saying hello from Aberdeen. Any flights leaving shortly? Uh, we've, well, we've got a flight every minute or so, really. Just waiting for clearances this uh, next departure. John Cook, good morning to you. We hope you're doing well, John. Welcome along. Uh, let's see, Bojia joining us from Kampala, Uganda. Welcome. And that's the A320 200 off to Nice. Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Tango was the other edge of that jet. Now we've got an A320 Neo once, once more. It's going to be an Iberia 320 Neo this time. With the edge Echo Charlie November Delta November or ECNDN heading to Madrid. We only just had that 330 that was going to Madrid, wasn't it? Anyway, flat number IB3169. And it's a four year old A320 Neo this one. Looking classy as always with the sunshades once again. Uh, everything RC saying uh, would be cool if you get audio from the ATC. It would be, however, it is not permitted in the UK, so uh, we're not allowed to use it during live streams. Michael Painter, good morning to you. We hope you're well and we hope you've had a, an amazing Christmas. And uh, no worries, Ilya, have, a, uh, have an amazing afternoon. Uh, let's see, Audrey saying, would there be any Egypt Air flights? Uh, yeah, Chris has just said that, that he'll look for you.
I'm not too sure what that was on the uh, the cockpit windows. It looked to be tape, but I doubt it was. Wonder if they had uh, obviously repaired the uh, the cockpit windows of that aircraft. If anyone does know what that that sort of greenish yellow thing was, do let us know in the uh, the chat below. C three twenty CEO for this departure, heading to Prague. Flight number BA eight five two for this British Airways A three twenty two hundred. And so, just waiting to line up is an Air France A220 that's moving now, so probably going to be our next departure. You've got the BA 321 Neo, you've also got the Lufthansa 321 Neo, you can just about see the nose of that jet. You've also got the BA, is that a 320 or a 319? I'm going to say it's a 320, but we'll just have to wait and see as that gets uh, on the runway. You've got another BA jet, that's an A320 for sure. You've got the Turkish 777-300ER, now I'm guessing that's going to be heading to Istanbul. I mean, it usually does. You've got the BA787 as well, and that's registered as Golf Zulu Bravo Kilo Romeo. Bit dirty, you can see. Just waiting to see if we've got the, the Jet Blue A321 Neo. That will be heading to JFK later on today. Waiting to see if that begins its taxi uh, anytime soon. The Air France A220 is actually on the move. It's heading to Paris EDG, flight number AF1581. Here it is. Yeah, so that was registered as Foxtrot Hotel Papa November Delta or FHPND for that Airbus A220 and it was silent, no wookie from it, so I uh, couldn't even tell that who was uh, beginning its departure. But anyway, landing up on the runways, LH905 for the Lufthansa 321 Neo heading to Frankfurt. As I said, that's the first Frankfurt flight of uh, our stream. It's registered as Delta Alpha India Echo November or DAIEN. There's the, uh, the 321 Neo. And uh, Kelly of Melbourne, Australia, saying how many members we have in the channel. I think it's about 120 or 30 or so. I think it's 130 actually. And uh, yeah, Audrey will definitely capture the, uh, the Egypt Air. Arrival, just let us know, of course, when that's uh, obviously on finals, and then uh, we'll make sure to catch a glimpse of it on runway 27 left approach. And uh, Washi Kev saying, Gotta go, folks, enjoy the rest of the stream. See you all later. Thanks for, for, uh, for stopping by, Washi Kev. Really appreciate that. Uh, we'll see you hopefully next Saturday if, uh, if you tune in. But uh, take care and uh, have a great rest of your day. And the 321 Neo is going to be on the move. The Lufthansa jet. We've got an American 777-200ER. That's taxiing to 27 right, and so is this A320. Now I think this A320 jump in the queue. Yeah, you can see it's just entering the uh, other taxiway. That's gonna 
lead straight into the uh, to the runway and that is probably the best explanation as to why there are no aircraft taxiing to 27 right on this side or at least i should say lining up see there the turkish uh, 777 just holding the airbus a321 neo of british airways also holding in fact you've got the ba319 by the looks of it and that's taxiing i'm guessing that's going to be lining up maybe waiting for this ba320 it's just stopped here and i'm wondering if they're waiting for clearance from the air traffic controllers i think that ba319 actually might jump the uh, the queue and beat this a320 to it I'll get some info on it. It's the A319. So this aircraft right here, which is flight number BA904, heading to Frankfurt, the Airbus A319, with Rage Golf, Echo, Uniform, Moscow, Golf, or GEUOG. That's cleared for an immediate departure. Turn and burn. There it goes. The A319, 22 years of age, registered in September 2001, 20 minutes later than expected for its departure. There it is. Now the Jet Blue A321 Neo has been pinging up on the radar for quite some time, but it's not pushing back just yet. I've got a view of it, a perfect view. In fact, I'll show you all what it looks like now. Here it is. It's been pinging up for the last 15 to 20 minutes or so. Nothing of it yet. Ooh, now it seems like that A320 that was hoping to jump the queue is actually going to have to wait for this BA320 and possibly the Turkish 777. I don't think the Turkish 777 is going to be cleared for the departure before this uh, this 320, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's all up to the air traffic controllers. Here's the BA jet that's going to be next up to depart. Heading to Brussels, the A320 CEO with flat number BA396. And yeah, I was indeed right. The A320 is actually uh, going to be departing before the uh, the Turkish Triple Seven. So here it is. This jet here heading to. That's actually not on my radar just yet. It's an A320 CEO. I can tell you that. We'll get some info as it gets in the air. That's probably when it's going to start pinging up. A really nice close-up taxi. going to be an immediate departure for this one. Just taking her time. There it is. So, uh, Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Foxtrot was the reg of this uh, 320 CEO. Just full throttle out of London Heathrow, 27 right. Wasting no time with a nice close up lineup, and that will be flight number BA1482 heading to Glasgow. It's been pinging on the radar for the last 21 minutes. There it is. Now the Turkish 777. It's, uh, it's his turn to, uh, to depart. So that is going to be the 777-300DR heading to Istanbul. Flight number TK1980 with the reg Tango Charlie Lima Kilo Alpha or TCLKA. 10-year-old 777 this is, registered in September 2013.
Now Turkish operate their 777s, A330s and sometimes their A321neos for the, uh, the Istanbul to London Heathrow routes. The American jet, the 777-200D are wasting absolutely no time. That's heading to Miami for that number 88574, the 777-200D with the range November 780 out for November. It's a 24-year-old jet, this one. August 1999 was when this was registered. And uh, Wes Turner, good morning to you, saying hello from Sheffield. Nice to see more of these channels bringing us live aviation. Keep up the good work. Really appreciate that, Wes. And, uh, yeah, we're just trying our best to uh, to provide some high-quality London Heathrow actions from a, uh, a nice close-up perspective. So, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, for tuning in, Wes. We hope you're enjoying the, uh, the content. Danny Coltrane, good morning to you. Joining us from Germany is, uh, not too sure how you say, is it Hajo or Hayo? I think it's Hajo. I do apologize if I've mispronounced that though, but welcome along. VJ, good morning to you. So this is heading to Boston, the 779 Dreamliner with the flight number BA213. And Chris Clark saying most track flights on flight radar is currently uh, the Lufthansa 747 heading to or heading from Chicago to Frankfurt over East Cur uh, East England currently. Roller coaster Harry, good uh, good. Uh, ooh, it's almost afternoon. It's morning still. Good morning to you, Leslie White. Good morning. Loco, loco. Good morning. Welcome along. We hope you're doing well. There's the KLM 737 for you, uh, Sharon. It is indeed one of the uh, the few 737s that we see here at London Heathrow. I mean, it's lots of Polish airlines, KLM, Air Algeria sometimes. I think it's Royal Air Morocco as well. Those are the uh, the few airlines that operate these, the uh, the 737 aircraft. You've got the Etihad uh, Airways A380. Speaking of, we will be seeing one depart very, very soon. I think this might be uh, the same exact aircraft. This is probably uh, arriving from Abu Dhabi is the uh, the Etihad A380, runway 27 left. A roller coaster, Harry, yeah, we've got about six, we've already seen two. And I don't think the uh, the two that we had seen were on our list, so we should have about six, six more. As the Etihad Airways A380. Now, luckily, we didn't even miss a departure capture in that shot. There's the BA320 near just being cleared for its uh, departure. In fact, that's an A321 near with the registered Golf November Echo Oscar Zulu or GNEOZ heading to Paris CDG. Flight number BA308, where the A321 near is only three years of age. Here is the British Airways A380. That's uh, A380, I said. It's the A350. I do apologise. There it is. The BA350 taxiing on over to runway 27 right, and it has a Virgin 787 right in front. There it is. The next departure is going to be the 737 of, uh, of KLM heading to Amsterdam, flight number KL1010, with the Reg Papa Hotel, Bravo X ray Mike, or PHBXM. Here's the 737. Not going to miss that one.
And uh, yeah, Leslie White, as long as that uh, Etihad Airways aircraft departs before 3 p.m., we'll, uh, we'll definitely be capturing that one for you, Leslie. Now, uh, Alan Lee joining us from Newcastle. Good, uh, good morning to you. Uh, let's see, Dimitro, welcome along, saying, what is the name of the green plane seen in the background near the hangar? Uh, it's not actually an aircraft, it's... Uh, well, it is an aircraft, it's a makeshift aircraft. It was never in service, it's just for uh, for training for the, uh, the fire crew here at London Heathrow. But it's not actually sort of a model as such. It is a BA320. That's a Neo as well, heading to Milan. We have flat number BA590. Got some info for uh, for specifically our Australian viewers. We've got a Qantas 787 just pinging up on the radar now. That's just pushing back. You've also got the Air Canada, uh, the Disney livery, isn't it? The uh, the special. So those are two aircrafts that you'd uh, probably want to check them out. Excited for that Air Canada one. Never seen it before. No on the runway now. It's a Virgin Atlantic 787. Not picking up on my radar just yet, but uh, we'll get the info out as soon as that uh, lifts off. Uh, Brian, 24 play, joining us from a foggy New York. Good morning to you, Mary Ann or LA Gill. Welcome along. We hope you're doing well, uh, Mary. Uh, Zing casing, how busy is Heathrow today? It's decently busy, especially with the uh, the departing aircraft traffic. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six aircrafts pretty much next to the runway now. We've got one, two, uh, three, and four. Four aircrafts taxiing to, uh, to the runway as well. At least those are the four that I can actually see. I'm sure there are a lot more on the, uh, the radar, but it is definitely uh, pretty busy here at London Heathrow. But yeah, as Chris was saying, it is lighter than usual, but it's still pretty busy. It's a holiday period, of course, isn't it? Is the uh, the United 767 nice close-up taxi now I said we were gonna get some info on that Virgin jet so that was the 7879 Dreamliner heading to Shanghai with flight number VS 250 and there's already another departure and it's a uh, it's a Virgin Atlantic 787 once again here you are Flanama VS-131, heading to Bridgeton. The Boeing 7879 Dreamliner with the Reg Golf Victor Oscar Whiskey Sierra, or GVOWS. Bit of a sticker on the uh, the American 777 that we can see now. Taxiing in front of us. It says 75, now I'm not too sure what that reads. If anyone can read that, do let me know. It's a bit difficult on the, uh, the LCD screen. It's on board the 777-200ER, the Thai Airways 777-300ER heading to Bangkok is up next. Flight number TG911 where the 777 is registered as Hotel Sierra Tango Tango Alpha or S, oh, sorry, HSTTA.
love the Thai Airways livery. It's a bit plain, but the purple does look really, really good. Two aircraft on the ground there. Zoom into them a bit later. We've got the American 777 to capture. That's heading to Charlotte, the 777-200, yeah, we're flight number AA-733 with the Reg November, 792 Alpha November, 23-year-old aircraft this is, and it's just 10 minutes late. And uh, my guest joining us from Brisbane, welcome along, saying loving this video, really appreciate that Mike. Uh, we have got a Qantas 787, I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll like seeing the Qantas jets. The spirit of Australia it says. But uh, yeah, really appreciate you tuning in Mike. So this here is going to be the British Airways A350-1000 heading to Toronto, flight number BA93. And the reg of this jet is Golf X-Ray Whiskey Bravo India or GXWBI. It's a two-year-old A350, registered in June 2021. And it is just 20 minutes later than expected. And uh, yeah, Lee Clash, thanks for reminding me, seeing the Air Canada also uh, operates the 737 MAX 8. Yeah, they do. That's on the uh, the Halifax route, isn't it? Yeah, thanks for that, Lee. Now, uh, that's going to be our next departure. This is uh, BA32200 heading to Barcelona, flight number BA484, with the reg of this jet being Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Whiskey, or GEUUW. It's a 15-year-old aircraft, registered in May 2008. Just 20 minutes late once again. So we've got a United 767 and also a United 777-200ER also waiting to uh, to depart. You've got an American 777-200ER. You've also got a BA380, except for that's just been moved into uh, to a stand. So that should be taxiing in front of us, hopefully. If so, we'll uh, we'll capture a nice a nice shot of that one. But uh, the Barcelona flight just waiting for clearance now. David saying excellent pictures this morning. Danny, really appreciate that, David. Really appreciate you tuning in as well. Uh, finally off to Barcelona goes at uh, A320. Now uh, we have got a United 767 and that would be lining up for departure. We've got an A380 on arrivals for uh, runway 27 left as well. I'll try and see if we can capture a glimpse of that. Just looking at the United 777-200 but more or mostly the uh, the BA380 in the background you'd see the massive tail of that aircraft and uh, Michael Brett joining us from Melbourne Australia welcome along Michael we hope you're doing well Fabi Game joining us from Bucharest welcome we've got a Tarome 318 uh, arriving from Bucharest later on today in fact no that's going to be departing to Bucharest sorry Skill saying I missed the Etihad A 380, not the part, it did arrive, but uh, not the departure event. 
Right, now we'll capture the United 767 300DR and hopefully we can get a viewpoint afterwards of the, uh, the A380 on approach. And off that goes, we've got the Qatar A380 for runway 27 left. There it is. So, flight number QR3, on board the A380-100, arriving from Doha with the Reg Alpha 7 Alpha Papa Golf or A7APG. A380 is 7 years of age and it is the second most tracked aircraft worldwide with, with uh, 708 watches. Okay, well that was 27 left for uh, for the arrival of that Qatar jet. You've got the American 777-200 here as well. Heading to Phoenix, this is flight number AA195 with the reg November 751 Alpha November. Here's the, uh, the BA380 that I was on about. And so we've got a United 777-200ER heading to Washington. It's just about to pass this shot. It's flight number UA919. Now the range of this jet is November 782 Uniform Alpha and the 777 is 26 years of age. That's going to be our oldest aircraft of the day. February 1997 was when this was registered. It's only five minutes later as well so doing an amazing job with the, uh, the timing. Now the Special Air Canada livery is just lining up on the runway now. There's the BA380 once more. We'll, uh, we'll come back to that BA380 after the, uh, the departure of this Air Canada jet because it is a special this one. So some info, it is flight number AC855 for the Air Canada Special Disney Wish livery and it's on board the 7879 Dreamliner arriving from Toronto. It's registered as Charlie Foxtrot Victor Lima X-ray or CFVLX and it's a five-year-old aircraft. Now I'm not too sure if this is a relatively new livery, I'm assuming so just because on flight radar there's only one picture of the updated livery. It's on board a five-year-old 787 as I said. Here it goes. Runway 27 right for its departure today. And off goes the uh, the special Disney livery. Now we've got quite a few aircraft on the ground taxiing, so 
You've got this BA320, here's the BA380 once again. You've got the Middle Eastern Airlines A320 CEO as well, the United 767-300, the Virgin Atlantic 330-300. You've got uh, an aircraft just jumping the queue there. There's, uh, I think that's the A320. Check again. There's the Boeing 777-300, the R of British Airways. There's the A321, the O of British Airways. And there's the Qantas 787 in the background. Now, uh, Trevor Grimes, welcome along, saying, uh, love this channel, lots of information, really appreciate that, Trevor. David saying, best wishes to everyone from uh, watching from Australia. <laughs> Robin Jones, really appreciate that comment. Doing our best to capture every single uh, piece of action that we've got here. That includes ground actions, even the, uh, the uh, arrivals that we can see in the distance. Oh, we've got the uh, the Egypt Air aircraft, don't we? And that's someone requested to uh, to watch that. Someone do tell me when we've got that on finals. I can see it's 10 minutes out. I think that might be doing a loop before it uh, joins the approach pattern of 27 left. Now we've got the Emirates A380 and that's second in line to arrive on runway 27 left so uh, no doubt we'll capture that one. This here is the A319 of British Airways, flight number BA1440 heading to Edinburgh with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Papa Mike or GEUPM and the A319 is 23 years of age. Ooh, now the 757, I can't wait to watch that rocket out of here. You can see they're just pushing back now, that's going to be beginning its taxi here and we've got about whoa, 10 aircraft already waiting for uh, for a slot in departure here at L London Heathrow it's very very busy indeed this is the A321neo heading to Lanka flight number BA662 with the Reg Golf in November Air Corsica Romeo Aviation lover saying he's back here and watching from Brisbane, Australia. Welcome, just in time for the Qantas 787. Now let's hope this departs immediately so we can capture the uh, the Emirates A380 on uh, on approach into 27 left. And you know what? I'll try and capture both aircraft in the shot. You could just about see in the background the Emirates A380. We're definitely not missing this uh, Qantas aircraft. We'll see more A380s during the, uh, the show, of course. You've got an Emirates A380 for uh, for departure very, very soon as well. Same with the uh, the Etihad and the Qatar jet. Uh, I'm just going to wish everyone a very, very uh, warm welcome to our channel here on the Aviation Hunters at London Heathrow for all of the departing aircraft uh, actions here at London Heathrow. Run away to some right with a few distant depart uh, arrivals, sorry like this one of course the uh, the contest jet is on the move now we'll watch that in a minute you can just see there flying past for uh, for a runway 27 left approach is the emirate 380 now here's the contest aircraft info on that in a minute just wait for us or for the uh, for the absolute roaring engines Flight number QF10 for the Qantas 7879 Dreamliner with the Reg Victor Hotel Zulu uh, November uh, Charlie or VHZNC. And that was uh, heading to Perth, that 787. Five year old aircraft, tracked by 412 
making it the fourth. Mm, that's actually 532 now. It's just updated. It's now the third most tracked aircraft worldwide. Is that Qantas jet? Now, the Emirates jet, we just caught a quick glimpse of uh, EK1. That was uh, the one that arrived on runway 27 left. That was the A380 with the Reg R for 6 Echo Uniform Echo. We've got the United 767-300 heading to Chicago with flight number UA928 up next. And uh, Daniel Burns, good afternoon to you. Also spotting uh, the Emirates A380 EK1 over Essex, amazing. Uh, Kenneth saying, hi plane fans, is it possible to show the destinations of the planes taking off, please? Uh, we are obviously commentating it, so we're giving all of the, uh, the info possible about them. Uh, ben Hartley, welcome along. Sing, hi Aviation Hunters, watching from near Luton. Amazing live stream and really cool that you're giving facts about each aircraft. Really appreciate that, Ben. Yeah, really just giving as much info, as I said, as possible on each of these aircraft. I know a lot of people appreciate it, so, you know, we're doing our best to give as much as we can. It's the BA 777 300DR heading to Tokyo. Flat number BA 5 with a register this year is Golf Sierra Tango Bravo November. Phil saying I flew on the Air Canada 737 MAX to Halifax earlier this year. How was it, Phil? Do let us know. I actually haven't seen that route in quite some time. Here's our next aircraft lining up. Uh, if you're watching Flight Radar, you'll notice that not all of these aircrafts on the ground are actually appearing on the map. I mean, there's about six, seven here. Anyway, version 330 up next for departure. That's a thir uh, 330 300 heading to Antigua, flight number VS133, where the Airbus A330 is registered as Golf Victor Lima Uniform Victor or GVLUV. It's a 12 year old jet registered in February 2011 and it is just 20 minutes later than expected for its departure. Right, yeah, just keeping my eyes out on the uh, the Egypt Air jet that is currently fourth in line. Do let me know when it's about first or second in line. There's the ice in there. 757. It's the 300. What an aircraft. It's so loud, I can already hear it. Real or fake, good morning, or oh, actually it's good afternoon now, isn't it? Good afternoon to you, welcome along. Neil Kelly joining us from Dublin, Ireland. Welcome along, we hope you're doing well, and we hope you're enjoying the show. And uh, Ken, good afternoon to you, saying I hope you had a relaxing holiday. Thank you so much, Ken. Likewise, Ken. And we hope you're keeping well. Here's the Middle Eastern Airlines, A320. That's a 200 heading to Beirut, fly number ME202. And the reg of this jet is Oscar Delta Mike Romeo Lima, or ODMRL. It's an 11 year old aircraft and it's scheduled to arrive at Beirut at 6.50. That is the Beirut time, they are two hours ahead.
Mazda. That was the uh, the A320 CEO. We've got the Eurings 319 just pushing back now. You've got the Jet Blue A321 Neo that's been on the radar for some time now. That's finally pushing back. So those are two aircraft that will be making their way on over to uh, to 27 right. Heading to Geneva, as they say, 320-200, flying over BA-730. BA and uh, Mia Moon, welcome along. Saying you had a 727 fly over me the other day, going into stances. Such a nice sound, amazing. We actually have uh, the 727s. I wouldn't say operating at Cardiff, but they were uh, landing and departing from uh, Cardiff Airport not too long ago as well. They are so loud, these 727s. They really are. Amazing aircraft, though. I think it was the Oil Response 727s. Squash joining us from uh, Adelaide, Australia. Welcome along. A320 with retro-fitted uh, Sharklet on board. Heading to Hamburg, flight number BA974. See their gear doors opening, landing gear retracting. Off it goes here, 320, amazing. It really is. Now the Egypt Air Jet, I believe, is actually gonna be the next arrival. So uh, just waiting for that one. There's the Air 757. And that's actually next to the BA320 Neo. And uh, Dylan Greg saying, hey, hope you had a great Christmas. Also, it's my B-Day tomorrow. Well, uh, happy birthday for then. And uh, yeah, we had an amazing Christmas. Thank you, Dylan. But uh, yeah, happy birthday for tomorrow. Here's the Egypt there, triple seven. Let's see, Chuluba joining us from, good, uh, joining us from Zambia. Saying, stay, staying tuned here in Zambia. Good afternoon, good afternoon to you. We hope you're well. And from Cairo's this arrival, here's the Egypt Air 777-300ER, runway 27 left. Just upon uh, viewer request. It's a nice one, I really like this livery. Rate out of 10 actually, what do, what do you all think about this uh, Egypt Air livery? Give it a rating out of 10 in the live chat. Amazing stuff. What's oh, got the air lingus? A320 Neo just in time. Echo India, November Sierra Charlie will be the reg of this jet. It's A320 Neo heading back to Dublin. Flight number EI159. And I think I've probably seen this A320 Neo on every show that we've streamed in the last few months. I've seen this exact aircraft. I remember the uh, the reg. It's Echo Indian November Sierra Charlie and also uh, Echo Indian November Sierra Alpha that we see all the time. On the runway now, though, is the Swiss A320 Neo with the reg Hotel Bravo Juliet Delta Foxtrot HBJDF heading to Zurich. Flight number LX319 where the A320 Neo was one year of age, registered in February 2022, and it is just 20 minutes uh, later than expected for its departure. Amazing, we usually see these Swiss A320 Neos and also the A220-300. It's a regular visitor here at uh, London Heathrow. They are quite 
quite frequently at LHR, don't they? See them uh, every hour or two. Now the aircraft I'm looking forward to is going to be the Iceland 757-300, which is the one on the runway now. It is flight number FI-451 heading to Reykjavik. The 757 is registered as Tango Foxtrot Foxtrot India X-Ray or TFFIX. And it's a 21-year-old 757 registered in February 2002. And it is just 12 minutes later than expected for its departure. And here it is rocketing out to London Heathrow, runway 27 right. Amazing stuff. There goes 757. Off to Reykjavik. Paul, good afternoon to you. Saying a very good afternoon. Danny, Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good one. What uh, what to have on a chilled Boxing Day? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Paul. We hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, we hope you enjoyed your Christmas as well. In a flash, joining us from Georgia, the USA. Good morning to you. Ian saying I was at Cardiff Airport a few weeks ago for a KLM flight to Amsterdam. Only about six flats on the departure board for the whole day. Yeah, it is crazy, isn't it? The airport has got com pretty much no action at all. It's uh, it's horrible. Uh, Infinite Flight saying one of my favourite planes, the A350 of course. Norman uh, Kloss jo uh, joining us today, welcome along, saying happy holidays. Wednesday weather looks interesting, wet and stormy for Heathrow. BA320 Neo, this is heading to Lisbon, flight number BA518. And the reg of this jet today is Golf Tango Tango November Sierra or GTTNS. A320 Neo is just one years old, registered in September 2022. There's the uh, the Eurowings 319. It does look tiny. Nine Hotel Echo X-ray Papa. It's the uh, the reg of this one. And there's the uh, the JetBlue 321 Neo. Heading to New York, JFK. Now we've also got the A350-1000 on the move. Heading to Austin, this BA jet. Flight number BA191. Where the reg of this jet is Golf X-Ray Whiskey Bravo Oscar. Amazing. The A350, love a good old A350. There's the pushback of a United 777-200ER. And uh, Sid here, a new subscriber from India. Amazing stuff, saying two days ago the Air India A350 was unveiled. Lovely stuff. Thanks for, uh, for supporting the channel. Of course, if you haven't already and you wish to, uh, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really does support the uh, the channel in an immaculate way. Now we are really, really appreciative of uh, of our current subscribers and viewers. Of course, don't forget to like the stream as well if you're enjoying it. Completely free, of course, but it does support the channel amazingly, or massively. Michael Singh, welcome along. Good afternoon, Michael. How are you doing? And uh, yeah, Paul, we had an amazing Christmas, thank you. 
So on the runway, it's going to be an A320 Neo flat number BA754 heading to Basel with the Reg Golf Tango Tango November Papa or GTTNP. And here is this aircraft here. You can see an air, yeah, an ETA Airways jet just waiting for departure as well. And that's the next aircraft for departure. That is going to be BA1344 heading to Jersey. It's the Airbus A319 with the Reg Golf Echo Union from Papa Romeo or GEUPR. And it's a 23 year old aircraft registered in September 2000. And this jet was 23 minutes late for its departure. Off it goes now. The ETA Airway jet for those wondering is going to be an Airbus A319. And I said it was amazing to see an A350. We've got another one on the way. Once again, another BA350. Oh, we've also got the Virgin Atlantic 350, don't we? So we're at two A350s on for departure very, very soon. Runway 27 right, of course. You've got these two aircrafts really close to each other. Two BA aircrafts. And they are both A320s. So this one here moving now is heading to Stuttgart, the A320 CEO with flight number BA92. It's registered as Golf Echo Uniform Yankee Kilo, or G-E-U-Y-K, and it's a 13-year-old aircraft. And uh, Ferraz joining us from Spain. Good afternoon to you. Zachary saying, hey, it's still a pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure to be hosting this stream for you, Zachary. Thanks for tuning in. And there's the Airbus A320. Heading to Gibraltar, this one. BA492 with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Golf. And now we've got the uh, the mighty blue shade, the Eta Airways A319. And it is this aircraft right here, heading to Milan. So fly number AZ247 for the Eta Airways A319 with the Reg Echo India, India Mike X-Ray or EI IMX heading to Milan, which it will be covering 981 kilometers. It is oh, about 20 minutes late for its departure but it will be uh, scheduled to arrive at Milan at 3.10, or 10 past three, I should say. Uh, the time in Italy is uh, an hour ahead for those wondering, and it's on board this 10-year-old A319. Stunning shade, it really is.
you could probably hear in the background the starting of a few engines and it's of this 777-200 where it was uh, quite a smoky startup for the engine on our left can't quite see it anymore but it definitely was there there you go the engine start that's just pushed back that will be heading to 27 uh, right for a departure we've also got the delta 330 on the move that's a 200 just going to pass us now it's heading to salt lake city flat number dl51 and it is about to pass our shot now And uh, yeah, Adi the Bomber, fortunately, we're not going to be live on Thursday, I'm afraid. But uh, have a very pleasant flight. And uh, Jimmy Wong saying, good afternoon, Aviation Hunters. Sorry I'm late. No worries, Jimmy. You're here now for the uh, the London Heathrow actions it's great to have you on board with us Jimmy and we hope you're keeping well Gwen joining us from South Africa welcome along so we've got the JetBlue 321 Neo up next that's going to be flat number B620 heading to New York JFK on board the A321 Neo you can see there the wind suck not too uh, heavy yeah so it's uh, not blowing around too much the reg of this A321 Neo is November 4048 Juliet and it's a two-year-old aircraft registered in June 2021 just 20 minutes later than expected for this uh, departure. We've also got the Delta 767-400 heading our way as well. Amazing stuff for the uh, the A321 Neo Arctic Sim Guy. Welcome along, saying happy holidays from Greenland, the real home of Santa. Here's the triple seven. Still not taxiing just yet. I assume that's uh, waiting for the uh, the clearance. We've got an Airbus A319 on the move, though. That's going to be Eurowings, operated by Eurowings Europe. We're flat number EW9467, heading to Dusseldorf with the Reg 9 Hotel Echo X-Ray Papa on 9H EXP. I actually saw this taxi uh, earlier. 13 years old is this uh, aircraft. Is the uh, the Delta 767 400 taxiing, and I think that's why that United Triple Seven 200 was still holding. It's probably had to wait for that Delta 767 to cross over. But anyway, we've got an A350 on the runway now. That's going to be flight number VS7 to Los Angeles. It's a Virgin Atlantic A350 1000 with the Reg Golf Victor Lima Uniform X-ray or GV LUX, and it's on board this four-year-old A350, registered in June 2019. And it is just 21 minutes later than expected for its departure time. Chris Clark saying, I really want to see an A350 in the ET Airways delivery. It definitely must look stunning. Yeah, Chris, that is true. We are a bit too uh, close for Italy and the wide bodies. But then again, Iberia do sometimes send their A350s and the A330s to London Heathrow from Madrid. So it's, uh, it's definitely possible. But uh, yeah, I doubt they'll they'll do that. Ian Law, good afternoon to you. Joining us uh, 
from Scotland saying new subscriber really appreciate the support there Ian welcome to uh, to the aviation Hunters community So the, uh, the United Chopper 7200 dr just uh, taxiing now. You've got a whole school of, uh, of BA jets, including the A380 and the A320. You've got a Delta 767. You've got the uh, the BA jet on the ground there, the Virgin Atlantic 787 as well. You've also got the Virgin 330 there, but I think that's actually been moved around. That's probably been into maintenance. On the move, though, is the BA787. And that is heading to Shanghai, the 7879 Jumliner, with flight number BA169, uh, so BA169. And there's another A350, train of two. So this one is heading to Denver. Flight number BA219 on board the A350-1000 with the Red Golf X-Ray Whiskey Bravo Juliet. And uh, Kedman, welcome along, joining us from Tanzania, East Africa. Good afternoon to you. Here's the Delta 767-400 ready for departure. There it is, it is on the move. Now oh, the 767 is not appearing on my radar, unfortunately, but I will uh, give you the info as soon as it starts, or gets in the air, I should say. It is the, uh, the 767-400, though. There is flight number DL31 heading to Atlanta, that Delta Airlines 067-400ER with the Reg November 834 Mike Hotel. As I said, heading to Atlanta, set to arrive in 8 hours and 50 minutes. Now you've got the American aircraft, you see those massive engines, it's the 777-300ER heading to Miami, flight number AA39 where the 777's Reg is November 729 Alpha November, it's a 9 year old aircraft registered in April 2014 and it is set to arrive at Miami at 5.35pm. Andy James, good afternoon.
And there's the uh, the Virgin 787 up next. Yeah, Zachary, the A350 and uh, Lufthansa was my favorite uh, aircraft and airline. Uh, joining us, we've got a viewer joining us from uh, Ukraine. Welcome along, saying thanks for the stream. Really uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you joining us today. We hope you're doing well. Joining us from Scotland is Natalie Young. Good afternoon. And uh, let's see, Xu Yen. I do apologize if I've said that incorrectly, but uh, welcome along from Vietnam. We hope you're keeping well. I am G joining us from Melbourne. Good evening to you. There it is. This is going to be the 787 Dreamliner heading to Seattle. Flight number VS105 just on the move now. The 787 is registered as Golf Victor Yankee Uniform Michael GVUYM. It's a nature old jet, this one. April 2015. And uh, Evil Studios joining us from Ottawa in Canada. Welcome along, Evil Studios. We hope you're keeping well, and uh, we hope you're enjoying the content. Of course, we've got two aircrafts for uh, for departures now, so that's going to be this BA aircraft and also the uh, the United Triple Seven with uh, a couple of aircrafts on the way. Got one that's pushed back, but I can't quite see what aircraft it would be. It's on the tarmac. Just checking the radar. It's actually what's it? Lufthansa 320 Neo that actually arrived. We've got a BA319 heading to the runway now, as well as a Delta 330-200 that will be heading to Detroit shortly. And anyway, this is BA438 for the British Airways A319 with a Reg Golf Delta Bravo Charlie Charlie or GDBCC heading to Amsterdam. The A319 is only 19 years of age, registered in March 2004, and it is just five minutes later than expected. It's uh, going to be traveling 370 kilometers from London Heathrow to Amsterdam. Amazing, and off that A319 goes. Now, this is going to be our next departure the United 777 200ER. And some info on this aircraft it's flight number UA4 for the United 777 200ER with a range November 77019 heading to Houston. The 777 is 16 years of age, registered in March 2007, and the aircraft is 20 minutes later than expected for its arrival. It's going to be traveling 7,781 kilometers between London Heathrow and Houston, and its projected time to arrive at Houston is going to be 5.15. That is PM, of course. Casper, welcome along. We hope you're keeping well. And uh, Virginia joining us from Mississippi, USA. Welcome along, Virginia. We hope you're keeping well as well. It's uh, really amazing to have you on board with us. The Macedonian joining us from Columbus, Ohio. Welcome.
Asher Ash joining us from Montego Bay. Welcome, Asher. We hope you're enjoying the show. Mr. Cassiano from Brazil. Good afternoon. John Ryan, welcome along. And the United Triple Seven Two Hundred Two Houston is on the move. Amazing stuff. So now we've got this aircraft here that's just joining the runway now. It's a smaller BA aircraft. Now it's not on my radar just yet. We've got an A321 Neo of British Airways heading to Rome. That's uh, just taxiing down to runway 27 right as well. And the Delta 330 is almost under our anyway as well, so uh, we'll tune into that after this departure. John Ryan, welcome. Jimmy saying one question, anyone hyped for 2024? We are, he definitely are. Let's see, Mohammed joining us from Indonesia, good evening to you. And also lined up on the runway is going to be the Delta 330. There's the uh, the A321 Neo of British Airways. Back onto 27 right here it is the Delta 330-200. Now I said I was actually going to give you some info on the uh, the departure. So yeah, it was BA 574 heading to Milan. That was the Airbus A319 with the Reg Golf Echo uniform, Papa Papa. Some brief little uh, information for you all. Here's the other Delta. A330-200. Just waiting this aircraft. Guess it's clearance that it's just uh, waiting for. There it is, on the move now. Some very loud, loud engines on board that Delta 330. That was flight number DL17 heading to Detroit. The A330-200 with the Reg November 858 November Whiskey. And that was a 17-year-old jet registered in January 2006. Got 
the uh, the Airbus A321 Neo of British Airways. Just on two seven right. There is. So some info, it is flight number BA560 heading to Rome, A321 Neil with the Reg Golf November Echo Oski Yankee. And it is a three-year-old aircraft registered in February 2020 and it is just eight minutes later than expected and off it goes already. It's going to be roaring away. It's nice to see an increase in uh, in familiarity, I guess you could say, with the amount of A321 Neos we see here at uh, London Heathrow. I mean, it's Aegean Airlines that operate them. British Airways have acquired quite a few now as well. And whilst Lufthansa have been using their A321 Neos quite frequently, uh, Middle Eastern Airlines as well with the A321 uh, Neo, and quite a few more airlines really. So it's uh, nice to see them more often. It's going to be our next departure by the looks of it. Golf Echo Uniform, Uniform November, and this uh, British Airways A320. Now, uh, Audrey Williamson joining us from Kentucky, USA, saying, Wow, another new plane spotter. Love your channel from the UK. Have a great day. Really appreciate that, Audrey. It's uh, nice to have you on board with us from Kentucky. Amazing stuff. Living my dream trading, saying hello from uh, Rainy Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome. Weather is uh, definitely better here. Just a bit chilly. There you go, it's just going to be slotting into the runway a bit earlier than uh, than usual. Obviously the A320 does not need as much runway at whatsoever. And the, uh, the runway is definitely long enough anyway, so uh, yeah, it's got no rush. So uh, the A320 200 Golf Echo Uniform Uniform November. It's going to be our next departure, runway 27 right. And uh, yes, so we have got Lifeline 2, good afternoon to you, saying a question, do they have a minimum slash maximum taxi speed? Uh, so yes, it's about 20 knots on the ground, that's sort of the, I guess you could say the average really, the average taxi speed, but it really all depends. Here's the Air India, it's not a special every year, it's the uh, Mahatma something something, I can't quite remember, I think it's Mahatma Gandhi livery? We'll check now. Yes, it is. It is the special Air India Mahatma Gandhi livery on board the 7878 Dreamliner heading to Mumbai. That was flight number AI128. And the aircraft is registered as Victor Tango Alpha November Papa or VTANP. 
Now we've got that aircraft and we've also got this one pushing back now as well. That's the Air Canada Toothpaste 787. The Toothpaste livery and we've also got the TAP Air Portugal A321 Neo. That's picking up on the radar. And that is this aircraft here but that was actually an arrival from Lisbon. Here's the uh, the pushback, just going to tune in for that Air Canada jet. We've got a British Airways A380 800 heading to Dubai. That's picking up on the ground, that's just pushed back. So we should be seeing that taxi in front of us very, very soon. That's registered as Golf X-Ray Lima Echo Foxtrot, flight number BA107 if you'd like to check that out for yourselves. We've got a Virgin Atlantic 351000 picking up heading to San Francisco. That's A351000 and that's also going to be taxiing our way too. We've got quite a few aircraft actually on the ground that are just picking up and that we will be seeing very soon. But uh, yeah, some aircraft to look out for. Can't wait for the, uh, the Dubai flight with British Airways. I know we've got the Emirates A380 heading to Dubai as well. Mick Smith saying should have the 747 uh, cargo coming from, is that League? Or Liege, I can't say that, I really don't know how to say that, so I do apologise. But it's at around 1.30, make a say, ASL Airlines Cargo, call sign TAY1838. Oh, if that's the case, can't wait for a 747 arrival. Interesting, thanks for that. Oh yeah, that is uh, indeed true, it's the 747-400, flight number 3V1838. At least that's what it's saying. Call sign TAY 1838. It's the 747 freighter with the Reg Oscar Echo India Lima Charlie. That must be a last minute schedule because uh, that wasn't on the list this morning when I was making the uh, the special aircrafts list that we've got on our, our Discord page. Anyway, flight number AI 128 just lining up on runway 27 right. The Mahatma Gandhi special livery. Or oh, sorry, Gandhi. On board the 787 Dreamliner, Victor Tango Alpha November Papo VTANP was the registered this jet. It's a nine-year-old aircraft registered in March 2014 and it is now the fifth most tracked aircraft worldwide with 364 watches. <laughs> Chris saying no robots here apart from Tanny when he is really cold. Definitely, <laughs> you can tell. And uh, yeah, Babs are saying love the commentary, very helpful for us new viewers. Really appreciate the uh, the kind words there, Babs. If uh, if obviously you've got any confusion with any of the aircrafts, or if you you know even want to know any any facts or statistics about any of these aircraft, do ask us in the live chat. I mean, we've got so many you know viewers that know a lot about aircrafts, and we're all happy to help you. But uh, yeah, we're all learning here. It's, uh, it's an amazing place. Here's the Air Canada livery, and we have actually got the British Airways A320-200 here. And that's just taxiing now, we'll check out the reg, there it is, Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Hotel. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong, there it is, it is G-E-U-U-H by the looks of it. Eric Aviation, good afternoon to you, we hope you're keeping well, it's great to have you on board with us. Now you know what, it's been some time since we've captured the arrivals. Let's see, we've got this one here, it's a BA-787 by the looks of it, a Speedbird aircraft. And this one is flight number BA-156 with the 7879 Dreamliner arriving from Kuwait City. It's a 6 hour and 36 minute long journey. Can't wait for the 747. I mean, we've got the jumbo jets, the A380s. Now the 747. 
it's uh, definitely one to look out for but it is scheduled to arrive in 22 minutes time now is it gonna make it that's my question it's definitely gonna be a delay isn't it I doubt it can get to London Heathrow in 20 minutes I mean it is a freighter flight as usual as well so you know a lot of these uh, freighter flights that operate at London Heathrow are usually late Gary saying great commentary and super sharp and bright image really appreciate that Gary really glad to hear that you're enjoying the uh, the content we're providing let's see David I hope I've said that correctly I really do I apologize if I didn't but saying hello from Halifax Nova Scotia thank you for the best stream out of London Heathrow really appreciate that and should we try really really hard to work uh, to provide you know a nice and crisp image and uh, you know video quality and uh, if there are any improvements please do let us know we want to make this as enjoyable to watch as possible Dirk joining us from Netherlands welcome along You can see there solid four to five aircraft taxiing on the runway down to uh, to runway two seven right. That included, I think it was two A three fifties. There's one, the uh, the BA three fifty. You've got the British Airways triple seven three hundred ER, but it looks at those massive engines. You've got the BA three eighty as well. Then you've got the Virgin three fifty, and then also we've got an aircraft that isn't actually going to be heading out anywhere. But it is one to watch out for. It's the uh, Virgin 350. Got a nice close-up shot of it being moved. But just about to pass is another departing aircraft, and that is going to be an Airbus A320. Golf Echo, uniform, uniform Zulu was the reg of this jet, or G E U U Z. No, none of these aircraft are pinging up on my radar. In fact, no, they are now. Not this one, but uh, we have got the Virgin pinging up and the A380. I want to watch this Air Canada turning in. It's going to be on our left-hand side. You can see there the uh, the Virgin 350 just holding for the uh, the Air Canada. Of course, the Virgin 350 is not heading anywhere important. The Air Canada is passing, or sorry, it is holding passengers inside. So uh, I'm sure they want to get to their destination as quick as possible with as uh, as minimum uh, minimum delay. This is flight number AC851 heading to Calgary on board the 7879 Dreamliner with the Reg Charlie Foxtrot Kilo Sierra Victor. I'll cover the info on that once again, of course. Let's see, G6ZNW, uh, good afternoon to you. We hope you're well. James Cridland, good afternoon. Chloe, hello. Happy Tuesday. And uh, Doggo, I do remember you. It's amazing to have you back with us. Yeah, Dirk, somebody did ask about taxiing speed. It's about uh, 20 knots, really. Sometimes slow it. It's uh, yeah, all dependent, really. Gary, the A6300 camera. Let's see, Farang Travels, good afternoon. So uh, a quick weather update for you all whilst we wait for the next action. In fact, we've got a departure here. Hopefully that doesn't take off now. God, hold on the runway. We've got wind blowing at 270 degrees at 10 knots. Temperatures of 8 degrees Celsius and the conditions are clear. Uh, visibility is 10 kilometers or more and we've got no ceiling of clouds today so that's amazing I'll probably watch this A380 climb for quite some time there it is that's our next A Airbus A380 to, to, uh, to depart heading to Dubai this one is 
But anyway, some info on that departure. That was flight number BA314 for the British Airways A320 CEO with the Red Gulf Echo Uniform Uniform Zulu. And that was heading to Paris CDG. Expected to arrive at 3.25. We've also got another departure heading to Vienna. The A320 CEO once again. Here it is. Flight number BA702. Golf Echo Echo Uniform. Oh, sorry. Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Yankee with PD Reggie this jet. And uh, Mark 1111 joining us from Swansea. Welcome along. Yes, BA380, a really nice close up taxi of that. Probably get even closer. There it is. See the two massive engines there. Mark G, good afternoon to you, over in London as well. Oh no, that's uh, joining us in Long Island, sorry, I read that incorrectly. Welcome, uh, welcome along, Mark, from uh, Long Island, New York. Great to have you on board with us. Jason, joining us from Ireland, welcome along. David saying, uh, wish you could stream every day. I wish as well. It's a hassle that we live about three hours away. We're quite a distance to travel. But, uh, yeah, hopefully at some point we could do this. Hopefully. Uh, Gary saying, do you only stream from London Heathrow? No. Although we've been streaming from London Heathrow for a long, long, long time now. Uh, I know we do go to other places like London Luton Airport. Uh, we've been to Gatwick, but that was for video taking. Manchester as well, we've been there. Bristol. But uh, yeah, we go all over the, over the place, really. A350 goes, what a departure, just amazing. It was flight number VS19 heading to San Francisco. The Airbus A350-1000 with the Reg Golf Victor Delta Oscar Tango. Now next up is gonna be a British Airways 777-300ER. Then probably the Air Canada, I'm guessing, this one here. The A380 is gonna be taxiing behind that Air Canada. You can just about see that massive tail. Then you've got the, uh, the BA350 just in front now we've got an american uh, 7879 dreamliner here as well don't know where that's appeared out of but uh yeah that's going to be one to look out for
and that was the British Airways 777-300ER absolutely roaring away from uh, runway two some right here at London Heathrow it was BA281 heading to Los Angeles LAX the 777 with the Reg Golf Sierra Tango Bravo Papa there's yeah Canada as I said that would be the next departure with the uh, BA jet it did actually taxi on the same taxi that I was suggesting would have been behind the Air Canada if that was still holding but yeah flight number AC851 for the Air Canada 7879 Dreamliner heading to Calgary with the Reg Charlie Foxtrot Kilo Sierra Victor or CFKSV it's a seven-year-old aircraft and it's the third most tracked aircraft worldwide with almost 500 watches now this is the jet we saw taxi and also pushback now Chiron with the very very generous gifted 20 aviation hunters memberships really appreciate that Chiron I mean that is so generous Chiron I mean you do this all the time well massive thank you Chiron that's uh, wow that is very 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 amazing so uh, a massive massive thank you Sharon. Marco saying I love this channel the best images and a very friendly chat thanks for the company no worries Marco got an amazing community here of, uh, of aviation enthusiasts so it's a pleasure to have you on board with us there's the A380 that we're uh, looking to capture can't wait for the Etihad and the Emirates and the, uh, the Qatar A380 we should be departing very very soon And uh, yeah, Gary, three hours, it is uh, definitely some time for uh, for traveling. It does take quite long. I mean, obviously being in Cardiff, we probably would have been able to get you daily streams from Cardiff Airport. But unfortunately, there's about six departures in the whole day. So I'm sure you wouldn't want to see that. But uh, yeah, trying our best to, uh, to get as much content for you all as possible. The A380 is on the move, heading to Dubai. Flight number BA1074, that British Air was A380 100 with the Reg Golf X ray Lima Echo Fox Roll GXLEF heading to Dubai. Now it's going to be traveling 5,507 kilometers to, uh, to Dubai and it's projected to arrive at 11:45 uh, pm. That is the time in Dubai. They are four hours ahead. It's a nine year old A380 registered in January 2014 and you can see how far that's gone. Off it goes. Amazing. Now, as I said, we will have the Qatar Airways, the Etihad Airways, and the Emirates A380 uh, departing very, very soon as well. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for them if you like the A380 actions, of course. We've got an A350, though, up next. That's flight number BA273, heading to San Diego on board this A350-1000 with a Regkov X-Ray Whiskey Bravo Alpha, or GXWBA, which is a four-year-old aircraft registered in July 2019. Now, it was supposed to depart at uh, 1 o'clock, but it's currently 1.22, so a 22-minute delay, but it's nothing too serious. It will be traveling 8,828 kilometers to San Diego.
absolutely love the BA sort of colours, the British colours on the uh, the wingtips of the A350. Look amazing. There's a triple seven just taxiing in front of us now. Looking a bit dirty. You can see the sort of jetway markings. Specifically on that one door. Anyway, we've got the American jet to capture. That's the 787. Shady Parvin, good afternoon to you. Saying enjoying your stream from America. Welcome. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, no worries, Sharon. It was really, really amazing to uh, to be hosting this this show for you. And uh, once again, really appreciate your generosity and uh, and a happy holiday to you. And uh, Billy, happy Boxing Day to you. Saying uh, lo loving the Boxing Day stream. Really appreciate that. Paul saying, what a great show, Danny. Close up to some right. Uh, my favorite. And this here is flight number AA91 for the American Airlines, Boeing 787 Line Dreamliner with the reg November 830 Alpha November, heading to Chicago this one. The Boeing 787 is six years of age, registered in August 2017, and is 15 minutes uh, later than expected. It's also the 10th most tracked aircraft worldwide. Oh, now the, uh, the Virgin Atlantic hangar doors are opening. There you go. Now there's an aircraft in there. But I'm not too sure what aircraft it is. Now it looks to be an A3, I say a 30 Neo, I think. But uh, have a guess. If the uh, the doors do open a bit more, we can actually get a confirmed answer. But my guess is going to be the A330 Neo. Uh, let me know what you all think this uh, this aircraft in the hangar is. A bit difficult to tell with just the, uh, the sort of winglet. A Turk. I'm not even too sure where Nelson Road even is. <laughs> Not really familiar with this place at all. Jane, welcome along. Saying I live not too far from Cardiff Airport. I live on Barry Waterfront. Amazing. Yeah, I don't suppose you'd be hearing much action from Cardiff Airport anyway, Jane. You might see the, uh, the one odd aircraft. And the Aer Lingus 320 Neo is on the move now. Heading to Shannon is a 321 Neo with the Reg Echo India 381. And I'm all over the place. I think I said the Reg was Echo India 381. It was actually flight number EI 381 with the Reg being Echo India Lima uh, Romeo Fox. I do apologize for that. It's the A321 Neo heading to Shannon. Now I'm not too sure why we've got an Aer Lingus A321 Neo here. I'm not. I mean, I'm not too. I'm not complaining. I did say earlier that we'd love the uh, the A321 Neo action. It's definitely picking up. It's usually the A320 Neos. Wonder if uh, there was an increase in demand, perhaps, or maybe this was the only aircraft available. Finnair jet just taxiing in front of us now. Won't be surprised if this is a uh, a flight being operated for uh, for British Airways. Anyway, you've got this A320-200 heading to Glasgow. Flight number BA-1484 is a British Airways aircraft. Uh, 
And uh, Uncle Car Guy, welcome along from the US, saying, are they going to change the arrivals closer to you? They're circling. Uh, I don't think so. They're usually circling uh, as it's probably a holding point. I'm guessing there's a, a large queue of arriving aircraft, so the air traffic controllers are just making them circle whilst they can, you know, handle the aircraft individually. But uh, no, it'll be runway 27 left arrivals up until 3, um, 3 p.m. And it's uh, BA67, the flight number of this British Airways 777-300, the hour on departure, heading to Philadelphia with the Reg Golf Sierra Tango Bravo India or GSTBI. Off it goes, the 777 is nine years of age, registered in January 2014, bit dirty, you can see on the, uh, the flaps, bit dirt build up. We've got a United 787, and that's just uh, pulling into the stand. There you go, it's got the new livery as well. It was uh, the arrival from Los Angeles LAX. November 12021 is the reg of this jet as well. UA923. Our next departure though is a Finnair A320-200. And as I said, it is, it is uh, actually a route being operated for British Airways on a, on a Finnair jet. So it's flight number BA480 heading to Barcelona on board the A320 CEO of Finnair with the Reg Oscar Hotel Lima X-Ray Hotel or OHLXH. It's a 21 year old jet registered in November 2002 and it's 20 minutes uh, later than expected. Just plain nuts showing us from Atlanta saying 59 degrees this morning. I'm not too sure what the, the conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius is. But, uh, yeah, welcome along, of course. Gotham, or Gotham, I'm not too sure how you say that, but welcome along, joining us from the UAE. It's great to have you on board with us. And off into the distance goes that uh, Finnair 320. We've got a Lufthansa 320 Neo now. Now, is this a Munich or a Frankfurt flight? So it's a 50 50 chance. It's one of the two. I'm going to say Frankfurt. It is a Frankfurt flight. So, flight number LH 9074, the Lufthansa 320 Neo with the Reg Delta Alpha Indy November Victor DAINV heading to Frankfurt. This is. So, it's about a flight time of an hour, an hour and a half. About, uh, about, about, yeah, about that much. Anyway, it's going to be c covering 654 kilometres from the uh, the route from London Heathrow to Frankfurt, and it's on board this four-year-old A320 Neo. It's featuring the new livery as well. Farhan joining us from Pakistan. Good evening to you. Saying lots of love and support to your channel. Really appreciate that. Hilly saying sat in the warm watching some great aviation footage. Making me jealous, Billy. <laughs> There's the uh, the Lufthansa on the move now. And off that Lufthansa goes, 
Now we've got an American triple seven two hundred ER here. That's just tanked into two seven right. And we've also got a pushback of an Air Canada jet on the ground. And that'll be this one here. It's the seven eight seven. Just going to watch this uh, this triple seven on its taxi. Paul saying, "Right, folks, heading off. It's been a joy, Danny. Great work. Have a good, uh, have a great a afternoon, everyone. Many thanks, Danny. Catch you soon. Really appreciate you uh, stopping by, Paul. Have a good day, and uh, we'll see you." That soon. Take care. Yeah, Ian saying Cardiff Airport mainly relies on KLM for two or three flights a day to form. Uh, yeah, two stash from Amsterdam. Yeah, that is true. It's with the um, it's the, the E E one seventy fives usually that operate the routes. Sometimes the E one nineties. It would be nice to get sort of jet two perhaps in uh, in Cardiff Airport. Jet to, I mean, Ryanair have got a presence there, but it's not too heavy. I mean, it's on a few aircraft, a few of their 737s, and it's usually, is it the Dublin flight? Can't quite remember, but yeah, it would be nice for an airline such as Jet 2 to obviously introduce themselves into Cardiff Airport. I guess demand is not there. Chloe saying, what does NEO stand for? A new engine option. CEO stands for current engine option. So uh, new engine option, as you can tell, is, you know, the new engine that uh, the Airbus jets have on board their aircraft. New, they're efficient, they're more economically friendly, and uh, they've got a, uh, a really great benefit, really. And uh, no worries, Casper, we'll see you another time. Take care and uh, enjoy your meal. Hey, okay, Bram saying, Cardiff Airport tomorrow, nine departures, eight arrivals, Ted Airport. <laughs> it, it is, it really is. All right, now we've got the, uh, the American 777 on the move. And uh, Jim Roddy joining us in Premium Economy Membership. Really appreciate that, Jim. Welcome to uh, to the uh, the membership. Please enjoy the uh, the perks. I think I've just seen a glimpse of that. Uh, I think it was a BA Better World livery. Golf Tango Tango November Alpha would be the reg if it were. Is that. I think it is the BA Better World livery. Don't think that would be KLM texting from that side. We've got a near Sabia 319. That's going to be heading to Belgrade as well. That's pretty much on. Nah, I wouldn't say on the runway, but it is next to it. We've got the Air Canada 787 now as well. That's just uh, beginning its taxi down to us as well uh, Simon Mason saying St. Athens Airport has some interesting aircraft and home of the South Wales Aviation Museum amazing yeah I uh, have been looking into doing some spotting at St. Athens it's a scrapyard isn't it for uh, for air aircraft so I'd love to, uh, to go and take a few pictures of the uh, the aircraft that have been scrapped on the ground being to Cotswold they've got a, a range of aircraft as well it was mainly Tap Air Portugal though, I will be honest, when we went. That was uh, quite some time ago though, wasn't it? So, uh, yeah. And uh, Miracle Gal joining us from Lake Grove, New York. Good day to you. Steve C, good afternoon, saying great show, thanks, just found you on YT. Thanks Steve and Elaine from, is that, ba is that Basingstoke, is that how you say it? I do apologise if I've uh, mispronounced that, but welcome along Steve. Really appreciate that, uh, you tuning in, Steve and Elaine that is. Amazing staff. I'm terrible with the uh, the pronunciations of, uh, of English sort of towns and cities. I really am.
flight number JU381 for the Air Serbia A319 heading to Belgrade with the Reg Yankee uniform Alpha Papa Echo or YUAPE. It's a 16 year old jet this one, registered in September 2007. Just 18 minutes later than expected for its uh, departure. Now the traffic is definitely starting to build up once again. We've got the BA Battle World jet, the Air Canada 7879 Dreamliner. Here's an Air Canada 777 that's simply just taken a stand of this jet. That's just come from. You've got the BA One World special sticker on board the A320 with sharklets, and you've also got the BA uh, 787. So, slowly picking up, it's four aircraft now for departure, including this one here on runway 27 right. And uh, Chloe's joined us in Premium Economy Membership as well. Welcome along, Chloe. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the perks. You've got uh, member exclusive stickers. If you go on the right-hand side of your screen, the bottom right-hand side, you should see the smiley face emoji, and then it will say Aviation Hunters and uh, a range of emojis that you can use. Of course, all members can do that, all levels. Completely optional, but uh, it does save you having to type uh, you know, more words than necessary, doesn't it? And 77 is on the move. So some info on that to British Airways 787 which is just in the sky now, off it goes. Now my flight radar likes to be a bit delayed sometimes, it doesn't give me the info on all of these aircraft that are pinging up on the radar, that are even in the sky. Anyways, back now, it's BA263 for the British Airways 787 Dreamliner which was heading to Riyadh. It's registered as Golf Zulu Bravo Kilo Papo or GZBKP and the 787 was 7 years of age, registered in October 2016 and it's set to travel almost 5,000 kilometres from, uh, from Riyadh. Not saying that the actual departure from London Heathrow is at 1.20, but that's clearly false as, it, as it's only just departed and it's 1.41 now. Anyway, got the One World sticker special. Let's see, Audrey saying, was wondering if you had any plans for merch like t-shirts. I know you're fairly new, really appreciate you naming the aircraft and their information. I didn't see a link on here. Yeah, we have got plans to do uh, merch or to sell merch at some point. Not just yet though. We still need to, uh, to sort out a few things first, of course. But uh, we would definitely like to, uh, to do merchandise very, very, very soon, Audrey. But uh, thanks for asking and thanks for your kind words. And that was BA1394, the British Airways One World Special Sticker. On board the Airbus A320 21 CEO with the Reg Golf Echo Uniform Yankee Romeo or GEUYR. The A320 was 10 years of age, registered in November 2013. And now we've got the Air Canada flight to Montreal. So flight number AC865 for the Air Canada 7879 Dreamliner heading to Montreal with the Reg Charlie Foxtrot Victor November Delta or CFVND. A 
four year old 787 registered in February 2019 scheduled to depart at 125 it's currently 143 and it is scheduled to arrive at Montreal at 3.45 p.m. covering 5,231 kilometers is this route now we have got a 747 freighter due in but where is that aircraft it should have arrived 13 minutes ago but it, you cannot even track it now so uh, not too sure where that freighter is was assuming it was going to be late they usually are And uh, there's a saying, I think you need a BA emoji as they're the biggest flies from there. We do have a BA emoji. It is a bit small though. That's due to the uh, the emoji dimensions. But uh, yeah, we have got one. Yeah, plain man's just, uh, just yeah, he's just uh, put it on there on the, uh, the live chat. It's the Airbus A350. Can't wait to see that one. Now we haven't seen BA and their better old livery for quite some time as i said during our last show it wasn't in service for quite some time it has obviously you know come back into service in the last few days i think it was 10 days that it spent out of service not too sure why i'm assuming that it was uh, maintenance but uh, if anyone does know what actually happened do let us know jet 2 holidays aviation good afternoon to you and a uh, very merry christmas to you as well in fact, a happy Boxing Day. Renee Phillips joining us from Tennessee. Good afternoon. It's great to have you back with us. You can see those lovely PA winglets. And it seems like the, uh, the A350 is actually going to be the first to depart. Wasn't expecting that. It's usually the smaller aircraft that sort of get the priority. Now we're uh, just going to check to see when we've got the Etihad Airways departure and the Emirates departure. So the Etihad Airways departure scheduled at 1.55 but it's uh, just been estimated to be 2.09 so in about 20 minutes time. Then the Qatar A380 has been pushed back to 2.36 and the Emirates jet would be absolutely no idea. Oh, there it is. Three o'clock has been pushed back to. It was delayed arriving into London Heathrow. And to Zach J. Murphy saying, nice to see Air Canada Heathrow, I'm Canadian myself. Amazing, Zach. I mean, we had the, uh, the Air Canada special uh, livery today. I think it was, was it the Disney Wish? I think it was called the Disney Wish. I can't quite remember anymore. It's on board the 787 as well. The Disney Wish special livery. So that was quite a nice one to capture. 
But uh, yeah, we've got a large presence of, uh, of Air Canada jets, so it's nice to have them. Some info on that BA350, it was heading to Accra, flight number BA801, the A350-1000. Now this is the United uh, 767-300. Heading to New York, flight number UA147. And there's the uh, the BA Betterwell jet on the runway now. Love this livery. It's a nice one. One of the very few special liveries that BA have. And it's an amazing one that, that they've got here. BA632 would be the flight number of this British Airways special BA Better World livery. A320 Neo with a Reg Golf Tango Tango November Alpha or GTTNA. And it's going to be the flight heading to Athens. It's a five year old aircraft, this one. And it is uh, or was registered in March 2018. It's going to be traveling 2,429 kilometers. And it was set to depart 30 minutes ago. Oh, now it looks like we've got an aircraft that is looking to jump the queue. And it's this one here. But I think that might have to hold because we've got this jet here. It's an A320. Seems like both aircraft are actually A320s. The, uh, the 200 variants as well. We'll confirm with the second one. I know this one is. I don't want to miss this close-up taxi. Here it is. So that BA jet that just departed is heading to Madrid. Flight number BA460. Now this one is not on my radar, unfortunately, but we will get that once it's in the sky. Joining just halfway into the runway. Uh, Mirrors MSM, welcome along. Good afternoon. Saying what? Uh, when was the freighter due in? Uh, it was due in at half past one. It was ASL Airlines, but uh, yeah, as usual, they've been delayed. We've got no estimated time as to when that will be uh, arriving, unfortunately, mirrors.
and uh, Mira saying Tinder's always jump the queue. They do, they always do. Uh, Sarah, good afternoon to you, Sarah. We hope you're doing well. Now I'm on the runway, it's gonna be a 7878 Dreamliner heading to New Orleans. Flight number BA225 for the British Airways, 787 with the Reg Golf, Zulu Bravo, Juliet Kino or GZBJK. It's a five-year-old jet, this one. August 2018 was when it was registered and it should have departed uh, about 25 minutes ago. Off it goes.
Right, so uh, I think we're back. All right. Uh, I do apologise about that, everyone. Uh, yeah, I think we've sorted the issue out. Now, this isn't a permanent fix. Just uh, do let me know if you can actually hear me. Perfect, perfect. Uh, okay, I'm just going to apologise for that, everyone. Uh, it seems as if we had uh, a tech, uh, a, an issue with the uh, the technology. It's uh, electronics for you as usual. Uh, so we're currently r running the uh, the stream without a monitor. So I do apologise if the uh, if the stream isn't as smooth as possible. Uh, obviously, when when uh, obviously panning around. But uh, yeah, no monster for us, so we're all uh, just using the uh, the LCD screen to manage everything. Now I'm not too sure what's going on with our monitor. It just was not switching off. The batteries are still alive. I think the uh, the monitor has just decided. Nope, it's time for me to go to sleep. But uh, yeah, I do apologise. I think we're live once again. Are we even back? There it is. Yeah, we are. All right, this is so confusing. And the uh, well, even the monitor's back. Well, once again, I'm going to apologise that I've got absolutely no idea as to what is going on with the electronics at the moment. I mean, the camera is switched off as well. It's back now. In fact, the monitor is back alive now. Hopefully no more. Hopefully no more, uh, Anthony. Definitely have to check that out when we uh, get back to Cardiff. I do apologise, everyone, for, uh, for for any inconvenience caused. I was not paying attention as to what aircrafts we missed, but it definitely wasn't any A380s, 747s, etc., etc. I've got the Lufthansa 320 Neo.
Here's the Air Algeri 737. <laughs> Chris saying, I think you need to run a checklist, Danny. I mean, we, we kind of do have a checklist. I mean, before we go home, we make sure everything is, you know, in work and all day. Everything's charged, etc., etc. So I've got no idea what's happened to Chris. Definitely going to have to look up and try and figure out what the issue was with uh, with obviously the blackout I do apologise everyone Sarah has been a member with us for one month now amazing stuff saying thank you for the great streams really appreciate that I mean it was great and up until the uh, the blackout so I do apologise to you all the uh, the Air Algeri 737 and it's the C800 heading to the Algiers terrible with my follow apps there it is flat number AH2055 with a reg of this jet was 7 Tango Victor Kilo November there's the American jet flight number AA21 for the American 777 3DR with a reg November 721 Alpha November heading to Dallas And uh, Tara saying, is it me or do I see uh, not as many 747s anymore? Is there a reason? Uh, yeah, the 747s aren't really that efficient anymore, are they? Compared to all of these newer or new generation aircraft. So uh, many airlines have not, you know, really opted to, to buy the, you know, the brand new 747s as such. And it's mainly used as freighter uh, aircrafts now. And obviously London Heathrow, we don't really have too many freighter uh, operations. Of course, we've got DHL. It's pretty much daily, isn't it? We've uh, we've got Singapore Cargo. We've got I think it's Cathay Pacific Cargo that occasionally come here. Of course, we've got ASL Airlines with a 747 due in today. Not too sure when anymore. That uh, that aircraft is just completely gone somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's more of uh, of the fact that airlines have operated or chosen to operate the uh, the more efficient aircrafts, like obviously the A321 Neos, for example, the A320 Neos, etc. <laughs> Lee saying thanks for the stream Danny I've been in the lurkers lounge for a bit no worries Lee really glad to hear that you enjoyed it once again I do apologize for the uh, the stream blackout Asha saying have you paid for the aviation fuel <laughs> no I don't think we have <laughs> Keep forgetting that the uh, the monitor is not working. And uh, Tim, welcome back. We hope you're, you're doing well. And we hope you're feeling much better. It's uh, really nice to have you as a moderator once again, Tim. And uh, yeah, as I said, we hope you're feeling much, much, much better. Chris saying, Tim, was it you that caused the uh, the blackout? Yeah, Bab saying, uh, you'll drive yourself crazy trying to figure it out. I've seen it on other YouTube channels, obviously a YouTube thing rather than anything on your side. I think it was something on our, th our side, in fact, Babs. I think literally everything switched off for absolutely no reason. But uh, we'll definitely try and uh, obviously find the issue 
than the uh, the situation at home. If not, then it might have been a YouTube thing, but uh, almost certain it's on our side. There's an A321 Neo by the looks of it. Now, the aircraft's not picking up on my radar, unfortunately, but it is a British Airways A321 Neo. That I can confirm. Not too sure where that's heading off to. Let's see, Johan saying I came here to see AL or AI, sorry, 111, which was the Air India flight. But uh, saying, but uh, but if there are 747s talking, I'll be here again. Yeah, well, we have got an ASL airline 747, but uh, where that is, I have no idea. Clearly, doesn't want to appear for uh, for the show today, does it? Should have departed. What about an hour from now? Now. But uh, yeah, should have seen it an hour ago. Phil Broughton, excited to see my daughter leave on flight VS one five three. Amazing! We'll uh, we'll definitely capture it if that departs uh, before three p.m. before the uh, the run alternations. And we've got the uh, the brand new Eurowings 320 Neo operating here at London Heathrow today. Flight number EW7463, and it will be heading to uh, uh, Hamburg, which is an A320 Neo with the Reg Delta Alpha Echo November Alpha or DAEMA, which is a one year old jet registered in March 2022. 20 minutes late for this jet. Here's the Lingus 320 Neo. And a big red, good afternoon to you. We hope you're doing well. And a very Merry Christmas to you. Now this shirt is heading to Dublin, flight number EI165. And that is wrenched as Echo India November Sierra Bravo or EINSB. We've got 
got an A380 in the distance as well. That's a uh, an arrival on runway 27 left. We'll see if we can actually catch a, a glimpse of that after this departure of the Scandinavian 320 Neo heading to Stockholm. Flight number SK532 with the red This jet is Echo India Sierra India Charlie or EISIC. It's a six year old jet, this one. Some loud engines on the 777 200. And to MDC Vegas, Merry Christmas to you. Is the uh, the MRC380? There you are. All right, that would be Emirates EK29 the A380 800 with the reg Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Bravo or A6 EUB, arriving from Dublin on a seven-hour and thirty-eight-minute long journey flight. A bit longer. It's usually seven hours. And the BA triple seven is on the move again. Got a Star Alliance shirt here. That's going to be Air India, is it? Yeah, it is. It's the uh, the triple seven three inch DR of, uh, of Air India as well. So uh, it's a nice one. Haven't seen this one before. And uh, no worries, Lee. We'll let we'll see you next time. There is that was the British Airways Triple Seven still not picking up on my radar. There is it is back. BA one one five was the flight number of that uh, jet. It was the Triple Seven two hundred DR with the departure heading to New York JFK, with the reg of the aircraft being Golf Romeo Alpha Echo Sierra or G R A E S. Now the Triple Triple Seven is uh, twenty six years of age, registered in May nineteen ninety seven. The, uh, yeah, 320 by the looks of it. Now I wonder if this is going to be a, de a, a departure from around this taxiway. I wonder if it's going to cut the queue. 
Guess some info, it's BA418 heading to Luxembourg. It's the Airbus A319 with the Reg Golf, Delta Bravo, Charlie Juliet, or GDBCJ, 17-year-old jet, 17-year-old-jet-registered-in-December-2006-and-year-old-jet-registered-in-December-2006-and-year-old-jet-registered-in-December-2006-and-year-old-jet-registered-in-December-2006-and-year-old-jet-registered-in-December-2006-and-year-old
I mean, there's no reason for the A390 to be holding. It could have been in the sky already. There's no traffic. Unless an aircraft is, uh, is to jump the queue. And it seems that's exactly what this Airbus A320 Neo is going to be doing. And the nose cone and the, uh, the sort of colours on it absolutely don't match whatsoever. Look at that. I guess it's some sort of style. <laughs> and the A320 new for our next departure, British Airways. Summer and throw as it lifts off. Yeah, Chris saying they've made this departure priority for some reason. Yeah, they have. I mean, that A319 just doesn't seem as if it's going anywhere. Even the 777 is taxiing now. But it's not going to be jumping the queue, I'm not too sure. Anyway, I said uh, we'll get some info on that 320 new. So that was flat number BA880. Yeah, 320 new heading to Riga with the Reg Golf Tango Tango of Kilo. I think that's BA's newest route, isn't it, Riga? In, uh, in Latvia. It's a three-year-old A320 Neo that they were using, and it was supposed to depart at 2.20, and it's currently 2.30, so uh, yeah, pretty much on time. This here is the 777 200DR, though, from Bengaluru, or at least it's heading to Bengaluru, flight number BA119, with the Reg Golf Yankee Mike Hike Oscar, or GYMMO. Well, the Etihad A380 is also on the radar now. I think that's taxiing. And uh, just a warm welcome to our new viewers just joining us now. We're on to over 900. Hope you're all enjoying the content. I do apologize if the uh, the camera work is a bit shakier than usual. Uh, running without a monitor today just due to uh, a few electrical issues, unfortunately, that we've uh, encountered midway through. But uh, that's not going to stop us from capturing the Qatar and the Etihad Airways jets. And those are both A380s that will be taxiing on over to runway 27 right for departure for departures we've also got the BA380 heading to Miami picking up now as well so hopefully they all come down to runway 27 right fingers crossed we saw it last time where the Qatar A380 was literally waiting on uh, on runway 27 li uh, left for a solid 20 minutes as it just could not be bothered to make its taxi down to 27 right it's just waiting for the alternations to occur but anyway, on the runway now is BA418. So finally, the uh, the A319 bound for Luxembourg is on the runway. It will be heading, or wait, no, yeah, it will be heading to Luxembourg, and it's got the Reg uh, Golf Delta Bravo Charlie Juliet or GDBCJ. It's a 17-year-old jet. This one is December 2006 was when this was registered.
and uh, yeah we do have the uh, the uh, the baby bus leaving if the camera even wants to uh, to focus on it there you are anyway up in front there's a BA jet which is not on my radar once again And so that there would be heading to Amsterdam, the uh, say 319 with flight number BA446, Gulf Echo Uniform Papa Sierra was the register this chat and I can already hear the uh, the A220. Not too sure if the camera picked that up, but there was a slight walkie. It's the A220 100 heading to Geneva, flight number LX355 on board this Swiss jet. Register this jet is Hotel Bravo, Juliet Bravo Bravo if you'd like to check that out, or HBJBV. So now we're just waiting for uh, for a few more aircraft actions. You've got the tail of the Qatar A380. I think that's crossed over to uh, yeah, it's crossed runway 27 left by the looks of it. And you've also got the tail of the Etihad Airways A380. So uh, both jets are taxiing down to 27 right, and they've got no issues with traffic whatsoever. In fact, we've got a third A380. That's three A380s. Set to depart from me 27 right in the next couple of minutes or so. There's a BA380 heading towards us. We've got the engine start of what seems to be this aircraft, I think. Yeah, it is the yeah, Canada Jet. Chris saying uh, Emrys is trying to hide, but it's not working. Hello, well. And uh, George Irving saying, could you please explain why the registration on each aircraft is read in both military and civilian? Why not just choose one or the other? We can all get used to either way. Yeah, it's really just for the newer viewers. Obviously, some people don't even uh, speak English, obviously fully. So, uh, yeah, just obviously trying to be understanding to those people. Here's the, uh, the Etihad jet. Now where's that Qatar jet? Is that that can't be waiting on uh Yeah, it's not waiting for two seven left operations. If it was I'd personally go to uh, to that Qatar A three eighty and I'd probably tell the uh, the flight crew off. <laughs> it's uh, it's crossed two seven left, so uh, yeah it is on uh, en route to um to the runway here. So uh, three A three eighty actions. Amazing. Now, uh, out of the three uh, airliners operating the A380, so we've got the Etihad jet, the Qatar jet, and the British Airways jet, what would you rather fly on? Let us know in the, uh, the comments down below. So that's Etihad, Qatar, or British Airways. Now, I would say Emirates, but uh, they've got a bit of a delay, so uh, we're not featuring them in the, in the, uh, the poll yet. But, uh, yeah, out of those three, let us know. Golden A380. Look at that. Now you've got that A380 and you've got this aircraft here. It looks like an RC plane, doesn't it? It's the ATR 72 of Logan Air. I've got no idea where that's heading to. In fact, no, it's on the radar. There it is. LM 676 heading to the Isle of Man. So we'll try and see if we can get both to. Oh, no, yeah. We'll wait and see if we get both to line up on the runway next to each other. 
I don't think that's going to happen as the Logan Air Jet has already taken a different taxiway, so I think he's going to be departing first. It does make sense for, uh, for the smaller jet to depart first. Just expecting that ATR 72 to join the runway very, very soon. The Etihad Jet is also lining up now, too. Chris saying you're about to see the A380 festival definitely you've got this jumbo and you've got this tiny plane heading to the Isle of Man is this ATR 72 of Logan Air flight number LM676 where the reg of this jet is Golf Lima Mike Tango Charlie or GLMTC the ATR 72600 Just slowly flying, taking its time. It's not like there's an A380 behind it. Or an A380 to the left of it. There's the BA380. There's the Air Canada 777. There's the Egypt Air 777. The Qatar A380. Now the Etihad A380. So the traffic is definitely ramping up. Starting with this jet. Flight number EY20 for the Etihad Airways A380 800 with the Reg Alpha 6 Alpha Papo Tello A6 APH. Heading to Abu Dhabi. This is the fourth most tracked aircraft worldwide with 452 watches. It was set to depart an hour ago, or pretty much an hour ago, it was about 50, 50 55 minutes ago. But uh, it's here now. It's a nature all jet, this one. December 2015 was when it was registered. And it seems like the Qatar 350 would probably be the next to depart as well. I and mean, it is closest to the runway anyway. Uh, Ryan, the Qatar A380 did not take off just yet. It will be next up bit by the looks of it. Tim's a difficult choice between Qatar and Etihad, but I think Etihad just edges it for me. My experience with both has been excellent services and crew. Amazing, Tim. I think I'd probably go for this same. is the king of the skies for you that's one of three that we're going to be seeing in the next 10 to 15 minutes or so well in fact the second is already on the runway it's lining up and waiting and there it is it is indeed heavy time chris triple sevens and a380s the train of aircraft that we've got here so the Qatar A380 up next, once again another King of the Skies aircraft. Flat number QR4 for the Qatar Airways A380-800 with the Reg Alpha 7 Alpha Papa Golf or A7APG. Heading to Doha, so it's going to be travelling 5,246 kilometres on board the 7-year-old A380. Registered in June 2016, it was set to, set to depart 30 minutes ago. And it's the 8th most tracked aircraft worldwide with 316 watches. It's got a nice and classy livery, but I think the Etihad... Uh, Airways A380 definitely takes uh, takes my number one position for uh, for the most stylish livery. The Qatar jet definitely follows behind. And then I'd say British Airways. That's between uh, Qatar Etihad and uh, and British Airways. But uh, Lukey Grits, no worries. You're here now. But two more A380s on the uh, on the way, and a couple of heavies. Now, I don't think the BA380 is going to be departing just yet. We're going to have the Egypt and the, uh, the Air Canada 777s first because the BA jet is simply taxiing at the speed of a snail. I think even that would be too fast to describe it.
Look at that, king of the skies. And, you know what? The snail has actually picked up the speed. Yeah, I think we'll get the uh, the BA380 as our next departure. So it was triple 380 action. We've got three A380s departing in a row. Amazing stuff. Chris saying, oh, he moved that pass. Carrie saying beast after beast. It's going to be beast after beast after beast now. So this is going to be the British Airways A380. It's already roaring away. And well, that's London Heathrow for you. Three A380s in a row. That was uh, the Etihad Airways jet, the Qatar Airways A380, and then the British Airways A380. And so up next is going to be this Egypt Air 777 300. And uh, I forgot to give you some info on that BA jet. That was BA209 for the British Airways A380 800 heading to Miami. Set to arrive in 8 hours and 48 minutes. The reg of that A380 was Golf X-Ray Lima Echo Golf for GXLEG. And it was a nine-year-old aircraft registered in April 2014. I think we'll capture two more. And then we'll, whatever comes next, I think it's going to be the Air Canada. But this one is MS778 for the Egypt Air 777 300DR. Heading to Cairo with the Reg Sierra Uniform Golf Delta November or SUGDN. Runway 27 right departure. And uh, Devon saying thank you Danny for the amazing content, love watching the three big kings, no worries Devon, really appreciate you tuning in. There's the Air Canada Trouble 7, so we're going to end this show off with this last departure, flight number AC861, head to Vancouver, 777 300DR with the reg Charlie Foxtrot Indians Tango uniform was CFITU, a 16 year old jet. And that was it. Amazing stuff. Well, everyone, we're going to end the show off there. That was uh, the London Heathrow actions. 
at runway 27 right so it's uh, for the departing aircraft actions now I know a viewer asked to see the Virgin Atlantic 330 depart I think that was VS91 but I'm not too sure if he'll even make it before the uh, the runway alternations take place but uh, yeah I'm just gonna say a massive thank you to everyone that's tuned in for uh, for the London Heathrow donations a massive thank you to everyone that's liked and subscribed uh, during the course of this live stream we really really appreciate the support don't forget it is never too late, late to like and subscribe to the channel I mean it's an amazing way of supporting the channel and it is completely free but it's completely optional of course but uh, once again a massive thank you to everyone that's liked subscribed even donated those were some very generous donations in the course of the uh, the live stream I think we might have just uh, unlocked a new membership emoji already so uh, if we have we'll make sure to uh, to get a poll out for the members to pick which emoji they'd like to see next but once again a massive thank you for tuning in and we will see you hopefully this coming Saturday. So well, that's it from us. Have an amazing holiday. And see you all next Saturday.